All right. Let's see. Can we get this stream started the right way? First thing I'm noticing is for some reason my gameplay audio is completely fucked. I don't know why that's like that. I'm going to lower it. I'm going to lower it a bit. All right. So, Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Holy fuck. Holy fuckles. We're doing it. We're here. It's about damn time. <laughs> When's the last time I went to the world of Phoenix Wright? I think it was... Ooh. August? Maybe. When did we finish that game? Was it September? Maybe it was. I don't remember. But anyways, Great Ace Attorney, we're here, we're doing it. Had this game for, uh, for a long time. Haven't touched it at all. It's about goddamn time we do it. Before the turn of the new year. My dog is right behind me, making a bunch of noise. She makes noises in her sleep. It's pretty cool. The game supports an autosave feature. Please do not turn... Oh, that's going to be bad for me. <laughs> Maybe. Depending on how they do it. Hopefully it has a manual save feature too. Alright. So, before we get started, just want to make sure that the audio is doing alright. Check, uh... Check the levels on that shit. It seems to be doing alright, but I can't hear shit on my end, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna up my audio. And maybe, eh, maybe up this up a little bit more, too. Depending on how loud it gets. It might be bad, I'm not sure. Oh my god, buy followers and views on... And then it's, it's, it's not there, it's not visible. Oh no. Well, thanks, chatbot. That's amazing. Maybe I will consider buying views and followers and then pretend that everyone loves me. That's what the popular kids do, right? That's how they become TikTok famous now? That's how you do that? Through lying and conniving? All right. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Let's get started. So, apparently, this game series... Well, here's, what, here's what's really nice about this, right? So, Ace Attorney has always had, from what I'm familiar with, has always had a very fucked up uh, localization process in which we barely get any of the games, and when we do, it's a big celebration. Which leads the, from what I've seen, which leads the uh, Ace Attorney community to be very forgiving and very thankful. Take some hints from that Pokemon community. You too, Kingdom Hearts community, you're all fucking trash. But if I ever had to point out a good fandom, I would say, yeah, yeah, Ace, Ace Attorney has been doing pretty good with that. They're just thankful that they get a fucking game. I'm looking at you, Persona community. You won't even buy half the games that you want. You fucking pieces of shit. Anyways, so Great Ace Attorney for the longest time has been Japan only, and we never thought we would ever see it come over to the West. At least in this time. At least in this lifetime, right? So it's here now. Well, it's been here since earlier this year. But we got it. That's cool. Apparently it takes place, uh, takes place, what, a century or like five centuries in the past or whatever? We're playing as Phoenix's ancestors, right? Now, I'm not sure what the, uh, what the order of games we're supposed to go in, but I'm assuming that it doesn't matter when you play the Great Ace Attorney series. Because I think there's only two games, and they take place in the way, way, way past, like the Star Wars. So, we don't really have nothing to worry about. And I think I proved myself that I'm up to the task, right? With the, uh, with us playing the Phoenix Wright uh, HD collection. Did all three of those games. So, let's see, special contents. View special contents, let's do that before we get started, because I actually want to know what the hell's going on here. I think there's costumes you can get for the characters or something like that. Oh shit, that reminds me. I have a... I actually bought a physical copy, so I think there's DLC that I can get for this at a later date. Like a DLC costume or something. Gallery, we don't have anything. Accolades. Okay. Taylor! Do we have any free outfits? 
Iris's homemade suit. Huh. Herlock Schlomes. Why is there an on and off feature? Outfits are available for use in the Great Ace Attorney 2. Hmm. Alright. Let's not dilly debt escapades. Play some short extra episodes. Ooh, we're gonna be looking at that at some point. Okay. Extra content. I like that. Options! Gotta make sure we do that first. Uh, music on, effects on, voice on, gameplay vibration. I'll take that. Screen flashes. As long as they're not too intense. Epilepsy warning, by the way. Watch at your own discretion. Subtitles on, of course. So, wait, what? I guess for, uh, for, uh, whatchamacallit? Cutscenes? Oh my god, are we gonna have cutscenes? Fuck. <laughs> uh, text skip off. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Enable or disable the skipping of unread text. Okay, unread text. You know what? That's actually gonna help. Box transparency low. I'll take that. Wait time. Adjust the length of time until the next line of dialogue displays in autoplay and story mode. Is this fully voiced? Ain't no fucking way. Because I'm prepared to read a bunch of shit tonight. Language. Voices. English. That's cool. Reader. Turn this on to enable story mode in place of autoplay, allowing you to progress through the game automatically without having to press any buttons. The answers to questions, presentations of evidence, etc. are all handled on your bed. Oh! Okay. So if I just want to sit here and go, nah man, I don't feel like, uh, I don't feel like solving it. Puzzles are too hard. Uh, they can go fuck themselves. And I just want to sit here and watch the story and let it unfold. You can do that. That's really nice, actually. I actually really like that. Especially for some people who just want the story, like the whole story, without having to look up a playthrough. By the way, please watch my playthroughs. <laughs> without having to do that or without having to deal with, with, you know, the puzzle aspect of it. That's pretty cool, actually. Okay. So everything's pretty cool by default. Select a venture. New venture. And to oh, did I fuck up? Um, oh no, I fucked up with the overlay. I've never played these games, so I I just looked for background, and apparently we have the second one. I should change that in the next stream. It's kind of hard to tell uh, which one to use. All right, so new game, select event. Hold up, I'm a little confused with it. What happened if I press that? Oh, you can just, it's just a chapter select. Oh, that's nice. We're going to be playing the whole game, though. Everybody shut your mouth. Cutscenes are playing. Japan. After opening its doors, a push for cultural transformation brought great waves of Western influence to this far eastern island nation. The revolution washed over the land, making life in the capital exciting and unsettling. It was a period of great change, and some were swept away by the tide. That's a gun. That's a gunshot. But for one man, the turbulence of that era was just the beginning of an extraordinary story. Am I about to get framed for some shit? I just got here. <laughs> I just got here. I just walked in the room. Episode 1. The Great Adventure... Wait, what? The Adventure of the Great Detective. Something like that. I didn't really read it. I paraphrased it. Alright. 22nd of November. 8.43 a.m. Supreme Court of Ju... Oh, God. Ju <sighs> Here we go with this shit. We're already starting with my inability to read. All right. Judicature. Judic I, don't, I don't fucking know how to pronounce it. Jesus. Court of Justice. Defendants. Antichamber. Five. Still can't believe it. I still can't believe this is happening. 
I know, it's been a while to get this playthrough started. How can it be that just beyond the doors to this quiet little chamber is the highest court in Japan, waiting to decide my fate? Oh, so we're in Japan, Japan. Well, old ass Japan, Japan. We're not in, we're not in whatever the fuck, uh, fucking San Francisco shit we were in in the other Ace Attorney games. It's gonna feel weird not seeing Maya and Mia and Pearls. Huh. What? Oh, no, nothing. Save your glares, murderer. That's, that's pretty, you're pretty mean. You didn't have to say that. I'm just gonna lower the audio a little, a tad bit, a very tad bit, very little, very, actually that's a lot. I lowered it a little bit more than I thought I would. Okay, there we go. Hopefully the audio is great now, hopefully it's great. Oh, by the way, full disclosure, uh, it is hot as a motherfucker in this room right now, so I do have an AC on in the background. You might be able to hear it periodically throughout the stream, I apologize. But also to that note, <coughs> also to that note, we now have uh, the follower emotes. I have, you know, taken the sub emotes off. Those follower emotes are on there if you want to use that, right? One of them featured there is our true classic as Pearl Patine, in which we all know Pearl is the source of all evil in the Phoenix Wright series. So feel free to use that anytime. My name is Ryunosuke Naruhoto. I hope I said that correctly. I'm a second year student at the Imperial Yume University. Three days ago, I somehow find myself in the middle of a horrific incident. And now, here I am, awaiting my trial. That's enough! He's not obligated to listen to such abuse, officer. Obligated, why did I say? Yeah, obligated. Obliged. Obliged. That's the word, why did I say obligated? And who are you? I'm this man's lawyer. I'll be defending him today. Lawyer? Masaka? Yes, and until the judge has given his verdict on the case, no one has the right to treat him as a criminal, or I will cut you down. So, you will hold your tongue. Tisk tisk, technicalities. Look at you, you haven't even graduated yet. Yeah, but my headband is cool, so you have to listen to me. And yet, I still seem to know better than you how a court officer should behave. Right, Ryunosuke? Oh, yeah, of course. What are you apologizing to me for? Oh, I... No, I suppose that wasn't my fault. Hmm. But really, Kazuma, I never meant to drag you into this. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go again, apologizing. Just like always. Ugh. You stun me with your beauty. Though I must say, you've been all over the newspapers these past few days. Yume University professor, professor, professor murdered in cold blood by student. But obviously, you didn't actually do it, did you? Of course not. You have to believe me, I didn't do it. In the back of my mind, you just hear a pearl protein before she's even born. She's like, do it. I, I could never murder someone. Then there's nothing to worry about. Straighten yourself up, hold your head high, and look at my headband as it flows in the wind effortlessly. You mean... I believe you. I know you're innocent, Ryunosuke. Kazuma Asogi, my best friend. Also in his second year of Yume University. But he's far more clever than I. A star student, in fact. He's even a qualified lawyer. Impressive, considering he's still an undergrad. It's not that impressive. The very concept of lawyers is only a few years old, here in Japan anyways. My qualifications don't mean much, yet. You said exactly the same thing three days ago. But I'm proud to have a friend like you, Kazuma. 
Truly. Three days ago. Yes, that's when all this started. Do 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 do. Flashback. Congratulations, Kazuma. Kazuma, -ya. it looks like you're. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> my dog's like freaking out behind me. I see him by the corner of my eye. It looks like you're gonna get to study abroad at last. I know. I've been forever dreaming of this day. Finally, those government elites have acknowledged my academic achievements and successes in court. So, you'll be representing Japan as you immerse yourself in the most sophisticated legal system in the world. I'm really happy for you, and proud, as your friend. There's, no, there's not a soul in the university who doesn't know Kazuma's name. He's a living legend. It's like there's some mysterious aura billowing around his temple. What? His temple? What? You mean like his home? His like estate? Is that what we're talking about or are we talking about like... Forehead temple. I want to bring about a change in our own legal system. That's why I have to cross the ocean to see the real thing with my own eyes. The heart of the British Empire. I wish I could see it too. Then come with me! And come with me if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> We have a wild time tearing up the streets of Her Majesty's City of London together. If only it were that simple. Oh dear, look at the time. I better be going. Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a while longer. Good idea, after all. It's not every day you get to visit a high-class western restaurant like this. See you in English class tomorrow then, partner. And then with his big dick waving in the air, he walked out the room, swinging it, helicopter style. It was straight after that, that's when it happened. Asogi, may I have a word? Professor! Oh, Professor! I didn't know you were coming. Well, this case has personal significance to me. But never mind that for now, Asogi. You should go immediately to the judge's chambers and give him the you-know-what. <laughs> Strengthen your case. <laughs> you know what you gotta do. To His Excellency's chamber? Why? He was looking for you before. Something about rub-a-dub-a-dub in the tub-a-tub-a-tub? <laughs> you advocating for the defense in this trial was a sudden decision. It seems there may be some confusion about procedures today as a result. Who is this man? And why is his stash so fucking sweet? I feel as though I've seen him at university before. I see. I'll go at once then. I shall accompany you. Alright then, Ryunosuke. I'll see you in the courtroom. Yes, thanks, Kazuma. The fuck? You guys just standing there in silence? <laughs> okay. <sighs> this is awkward. <laughs> If I may. Yes, sorry. You must be the defendant. Ryunosuke Naruhoro, I believe. Yes, yes, that's right. My name is Yuji. What the fuck? Yujin Mikoroba. I really hope I'm saying this shit right. I feel like I'm mispronouncing every word known to mankind. My name is Ryujin Mikoroba. I'm a professor of forensic medicine at Yume University. Uh, Professor Mikoroba? I've heard that name before, uh, from Cosmo before. As I recall, he's been pushing to get the government to agree to Cosmo studying abroad. Asogi has told me about you. You and he are best friends, I understand. <gasps> As such, I feel you should know. Know what? 
Well, as you've no doubt heard, Sogi has been granted permission to go and study in Great Britain. However, if he should fail to defend you in trials in today's trial, I'll smack him with my big fluffy fluff. <laughs> what is that? What is that shit he's wearing? I like it. I want one. I'm afraid that the permission will be revoked and never granted again. Masaka. Uh, as I suspected, you were unaware of this. I mean, it seems like common sense. I had a feeling Asogi may have chosen not to tell you. But why? He agreed to defend me, knowing that if he fails, his dreams will be shattered. But I don't understand. Why would the government do such a thing? Because they don't want to send him, they want him to fuck up. The administration has to choose from a large number of applicants for overseas studies. It's very difficult to persuade them to grant permission, even in the most favorable of circumstances. I don't believe it. It can't be believed. I don't believe it's not butter. But I, I didn't do it, I swear. I'm not a murderer. I'm sure that's true, nevertheless. I can assure you that providing, that providing, that proving your innocence will be no easy task. You see, there are certain peculiar, peculiar, oh god, fucking curse my dialect. Peculiar, peculiar, I can't say it. Peculiar, peculiar, the fuck. Peculiar. Peculiarities, I can't, I can't say it. My mouth won't do the motions. Becure, peculiarly or out of peculiarities. Damn it, <laughs> I hate this. All right, you see, there's some problems about today's trial. Uh, sorry, what do you mean? You'll soon understand once proceedings get underway. <coughs> 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 <laughs> oh fuck. I went to do the, you know, I saw the exclamation point and I went to go, <gasps> right? But as I did that, I fucking swallowed my spit like an idiot. But then, what should I do? Well, naturally, I'm not going to suggest doing anything that could lead to a convention. Right, so... You're telling me if I want to get out of here or be innocent, I have to kill a guy. I'll do it. As soon as the trial starts, the judge will pose a certain question to the defense. When that happens, you must answer before anyone else. You must say, I do. I do? But what will the question be? Surely not. Do you accept the, uh, the, 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 the Do you accept the accusations brought before you? You trying to make me, you trying to, you trying to make me do a plea deal, you piece of shit? Or are you doing, well, I call him piece of shit because my neck's on the line here, but maybe he's doing it just to, you know, save uh, Cosmo. Of course not. Defend it! Court is about to begin. Proceed to the courtroom at once. It would seem our, our, our oh God, I just don't know that word. I'm gonna be honest, that one I don't know. I'll figure it out. Serep, Serepitus, Serepitus, Serep, Serep, Serepitus. It seems that our discussions are to be cut short. <laughs> so allow me to summarize. Cosmo Sogi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Am I gonna have to fucking defend myself? Of course, as the defendant, the final decision is yours. What are you waiting for? Do you want to be found guilty for failing to appear? Get moving. There's no point in anyone advocating for the likes of you anyways. It was then within that moment, he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> this is it. If this trial goes badly, Cosmo's dreams of studying abroad are over. And what's more, I'll be found guilty of murder. And so, 
with absolutely no idea of what lay ahead, I embarked on the unforgettable trial. My one and only chance of proving my innocence. The trial that would decide my destiny. Twenty-second November, April, June, December. Right, Nine a.m. Supreme Court of whatever the fuck. Courtroom number two. Oh my god. <laughs> Ryunosuke looks like he just start tripping. So this is a courtroom. The Supreme Court of Jira Jira. I can't say it. I can't say the word. I have it in my head. I just can't say it. Judicature. Judic. Fuck. Judicature. Fuck. No court in the land has more power. I don't much like the looks of those people sitting in the public j gallery. I was about to say jury. My bad. Lots of military and other uniforms in there. The powers that be, the powers that be have demanded that this be a secret trial. Oh fuck, that's not good. A secret trial. A trial that's closed to ordinary members of the public. Only military and government officials may attend. What? But why? It'll become clear in time, but for now. You need to concentrate, Ryunosuke. It's about to begin. Oh my god, the pains fucking have a... Ah, oh, they have that ancestor too, and that man has one luscious beard. The court will now hear the trial of Ryunosuke Naruhoro. The prosecution is ready, Your Excellency. As is the defense. Before we begin, there is one point of order I would like to confirm. Yesterday evening, the defense made a last-minute request for a change of advocate. That's correct, Your Excellency. I made the request myself. Normal procedure is for the defendant's advocacy to be decided two days prior to trial. As this is an unusual circumstance, I'm obliged to ask for final confirmation now. Who advocates for the defendant in this trial? I'm fucking defending myself. This is it. This must be the question. Who's gonna defend me? That's the question the professor meant. But then, if I say I do, I need to answer quickly. What should I do? I do, sir. Your Excellency, no confirmation is needed. What the fuck? As I am standing here beside the defendant, I hope it's clear who- yes. What is the meaning of this unruly outburst? I... I would like to inform the court that... That... I, Ryunosuke Naruhoro, will be defending myself. You'll be... What? Mazaka. What are you playing at, Ryunosuke? Professor Mikotaba told me everything, just now before the trial. He did what? He said that your dreams of studying abroad would be dashed if you were to lose. How sad. It means you don't have faith in me. You think I won't be able to get you off? Is that a... Is that a... Is that a challenge? <laughs> you think I won't be able to get you off? You think, you think I don't know your G-spots? No, it's not that really. It's just that. Well, on the off chance that things don't go well for me, it couldn't, I couldn't bear to be the reason that you. Yes, I knew that's how you feel. Which is exactly why I decided not to tell you. Professor Mikotaba shouldn't have stuck his nose in. Very well. The court hereby recognizes the defendant's desire to advocate for himself in today's trial. Well, well. 
Does the accused admit defeat already? Renouncing his own counsel? Really? Objection! I object to that. You're a piece of shit, so shut up. Make no mistakes, counsel. This merely shows that the defendant's innocence is so apparent, he's confident he can speak for himself as his eyes shift about the room. <laughs> Isn't that so, Naruhoro-san? What's with the honorific, asshole? Hmm? Oh, yes, exactly. Exactly what I wasn't thinking. I'm not confident at all. In fact, my mind's a complete blink. I realize you're in charge now, but still, try not to look so bewildered. <laughs> well, for a mere university student to be brought before the Supreme Court. Oh my fucking god, he just pulled out the fan. You must have penetrated the most hit- Wait, what? Penetrated? Why did I- Whoa, hold up, my bad. My bad, perpetrated. <laughs> you must have perpetrated a most he he fuck, heinous crime indeed. I can't even see. I can't speak tonight. As you are no doubt aware, this is Supreme Court of Judicature Judic Fuck. Judicature of Japan. I hope that's I'm pretty sure that's how you say that word. Am I am I wrong about that? I don't know. Accordingly, the vi according what? According accordingly, fuck. The very highest standards of conduct are accepted of all present. Which means stop shit posting, guys. Stop it. Do I make myself clear, Defendant Naruhoro? Yes, Your Excellency. It is therefore my duty to assess your competence for the task you have undertaken. My competence? What does that mean? That means are you a fucking dumbass? He's questioning your ability to do the job. Well, you can't be questioning it more than I am. So, let's start with the very simplest of questions. Oh, uh, yes. Kindly state before the court the name of the victim in this case. Well, that's easy enough. I've heard his name more times than I care to remember. But, wait. Uh, I'm so nervous, I can't even remember that. What was it again? Ryunosuke. Let me guess. Your mind's gone blank. Uh, you know me so well. All the relevant information for this case can be found in the court's record. But... But I can't even find that. It's simple. You can access the court record with the press of the R button. If you ever find yourself forgetting something, just console that. It's all in there. I just have to press the R button for the court record. Alright. There's no time to lose. I'll press it right now. This is the list of evidence you collected. Now try switching the people instead of... Uh, instead of... Uh, that, 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 that. Switch the people instead with R. Okay. You'll find the details about the victim in here. Oh my god, the victim also had a sweet stash. Even sweeter than Mikotobo's. You'll find details about the victim in here. When you're done, press the B button to go back. Alright. The victim of this case, he was visiting prof he was visiting professor of medicine at Yume University from the British Empire. This is John H. Wilson. Mr. Wilson. Oh god, I'm not even gonna attempt to fucking say his name. Take Takesuchi? Takesuchi? Yuji. Ayuchi. Ayuchi? Uh, Uchi. <laughs> the prosecutor of this case who would appear to have little love uh little love for the change that of cultural reform has brought about. Oh, okay. Mikotoba and Kazuma. 23? Oh, really? We're 23. Cool. So remember everything to do with the current case can be found in the court records. Now, you better not keep His Excellency waiting any longer. Go on. Find the victim in the people section of the court record then press X to present it. Try that now. Yes! Yes! Reminds me of Todd Snap. <laughs> the victim's name was Dr. John H. Wilson. Well, at least you can remember the name of an esteemed member of your own university. 
Dr. Wilson was a visiting professor from England, invited to Yume University three years ago. Indeed. Which is the reason why this case has such profound implications. The British Empire. Oh, I see now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the murder... The murder of an abroad... Of an abroad professor doesn't seem like a good move. <coughs> you know... When you put it, when you put it in terms of uh, in terms of politics, it's a present. <laughs> it's a present. Our country's most valuable foreign ally. And as mu uh, fuck, I lost. I'm sorry. I lost my train of thought. I uh, started thinking about things. And as most of you will be aware, we have just signed a new treaty together after lengthy negotiations. There can't be anyone who has heard of uh, what. Heard of the An Anglo? What? Anglo? Is that how you pronounce that? Anglo? Angel? <laughs> the Anglo Japanese Treaty of Friendship and Navigation. And yet, despite these d delicate circumstances, the blood of the Englishmen has been spilt on our soil. You two are both undergraduates at the Empire. Empire. Imperial Yume University, are you not? murdering a professor from the very institution that provides your education. Have you no honor? Anuar. We're spelling it that way. <laughs> but I didn't do it. This case is coming under great scrutiny from our allies on the other side of the world. The court therefore wishes for a speedy resolution to this matter. Hmm. In other words, our freebie go- our freebie. Our feeble government is scared of upsetting English politics. And you're a convenient and expendable scapegoat to blame for this crime. So that's why this trial has these unusual peculiar- becu I- I had it and then I fucked it up! Peculiar- peculiar- peculiarities, uh, can't say it. Exactly. Our government needs to convince someone, convince, convict someone as soon as possible. All because the victim was an Englishman. Yes, Dr. Wilson was an Englishman. But nationalities and treaties won't make any difference for me here. The fact is, I was there at the scene of the crime. Oh dear, look at the time. I better be going. Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a little longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class western restaurant like this. See you in- I don't know what the hell just happened with my voice. See you in- See you in English class tomorrow then, partner. It's stage fright, that's what it is. The British Empire. Wow, this is incredible to think. Wait. I've seen that man at university. I'm sure he's a visiting professor from Great Britain. I don't know his name, but still. I should go and say hello. Was he poisoned? So I went over the professor's I went over to the professor's table. and introduce myself to Dr. Wilson. Now then, let me pose my next question to you, Defendant Naruhoro. Yes, Your Excellency. How did this professor of medicine, Dr. John H. Wilson, lose his life? State before the court the cause of death. The cause of death? Well, obviously, that was... Ryunosuke, remember that in court, everything is, every assertion must be backed up by evidence. By evidence? But how? Find the pieces of evidence that shows the professor's cause of death and select present. Do it. Do it now. Post-mortem report. Death occurred a little after 2 p.m. and was caused by loss of blood from a gunshot to the chest. The bullet did not pass through the victim's body. Ooh. Interesting. Yes! Um, well... 
According to this document, the victim suffered a hemorrhag fuck, hemorrhagic death due to gunshot trauma. Learn to read, you imbecile. That's the post-mortem report. I take that can be that can be said for this whole entire playthrough. Learn to read. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, that's right. The um post-mortem report. In the West, a doctor dissects corpse to identify the cause of death is an autopsy. But here in Japan, a police officer merely inspects the body and draws conclusions that way. Oh, I see. As long as I'm not going to be tested on any of this later. This is a so-called photographic print of the scene of the crime. You can clearly discern scorch marks around the bullet hole produced by the powder explosion. In other words, we should assume that the victim was shot at close range. Yes, that does make sense. But what about the steak? Did he eat his steak? Those are the true questions we must ask. Thank you, counsel. The court will accept this modern scientific evidence into the records. The photographic print of the victim has been entered into the court records. Uh, let's see, shot from the front in the chest and subsequently, subsequent, subsequent, oh fuck. I can't say, I can't speak. Sub, subsit, bleh. Sub, subsequently, I, fuck. You know what I mean, he's dead, he died, he got shot. Fuck. So that's a photographic print. Well, that's something I've never seen before. It's clearly superior to a drawing. The detail is incredible. Very well. I am satisfied with your answer. Let us start the trial. Now, all hail the sun. <laughs> Praise the sun. Certainly, Your Excellency. So without further ado, in order to better appraise the court with the facts of the case. The prosecution hereby calls its first witness, who was there at the scene of the crime when it happened. This is it. Hmm, I think I may have worked out what the professor had in mind. The professor? You mean Dr. Mikotoba? Yes, clearly you're the defense lawyer today, not me. But that doesn't mean... Well, I can still act as your assistant. Oh, so you can be my witness. Eh, hey, alright. Am I allowed to call a witness to- I, I should- I am allowed to call a witness to stand, right? Right? Of course. Then he was speaking with me before, he simply said. Kazuma Sogi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Hmm, he really has been sticking his oar. His oar? His, his oar? <laughs> his oar in, hasn't he? Yeah, he's sticking something in, all right. Maybe, but any help you give to me will be greatly appreciated, Kazuma. Well... My first piece of advice is rein in that crazy look of your bewilderment and control the cold sweats. Only if you rein in the crazy headband and control the cold stares. <laughs> He's like, I can't rein in this headband. My friend Caesar was crushed by a rock and he left it in a Haman bubble for me. Witness, state your name and occupation for the court, please. Of course. My name is Satoru Hanso. Hanso Hasunaga? Hmm. Hosonaga? Hosunaga. My name is Sotoro. Sotoro. I'm the head waiter. Ooh my, I am the head waiter at a western style restaurant called Le Carnival. <coughs> oh god, are you okay? Um, are you alright? You seem to be coughing up some, uh, some of that, some of that grape jam that you had, grape, no my bad, strawberry jam you had earlier. It's a regular occurrence. It really doesn't bother me. You sure man? You got some internal bleeding going on there, you get that checked out. Well, it really, really should it. As everyone knows, the capital's southeastern quarter was developed for foreign visitors some years ago. 
It became a very fashionable district now, full of hotels to, accom to accommodate overseas guests. This grim crime occurred in one of the district's so-called restaurants. In accidental, wait, well, ac God, accidental. What the hell am I saying? Uh, in accident. <clears throat> Occasional? I don't. I don't fucking. What? An eatery three days ago. I don't know what the hell that word is. I'm sorry. I just don't. Understood. Hosonaga-san, you will d you will kindly tell the court everything you can about the incident. At once, sir. And no pity interjectors from the aspiring lawyer boy, please. Oh, um, paraphrasing, maybe, but aspiring. Did I say paraphrasing? God. Persp uh, whatever. <coughs> Listen, I'm having a hard time. It's late, okay? It was just after 2 p.m. on the day in question. We have few diners at the time of day. The lunchtime rush was over, and there were only three tables still occupied. That fits in with my memory of it, too. There was hardly anyone else in the place. <coughs> it was when, uh, it was when I was in the kitchen putting away crockery, crockery, crock, crock, crockery, crock, crockery. A gunshot rang out, so I hurried out to the dining area to see what had happened. I found the victim, an English gentleman, slumped in his chair, and standing intimidantly beside him, gun in hand, was the accused university student. Yes! Hold on! Let me just clarify something here. While I did pick up the gun that I found laying on the floor, beside the professor, I... I didn't shoot him. Objection! I believe I asked you to refrain from petty interjections. The court wishes to listen to the witness report of what he saw, you amateur. But... The next time you interrupt, at an inappropriate time, you'll be penalized, defendant Narahodo. Don't worry, Ryunosuke. You'll have your chance to fight back. For now, we must just quietly listen to the witness. <sighs> if I may confirm one point, waiter. Standing beside the victim with a gun in his hand was the same man you see here in court today. <coughs> yes, without question. I see. And apart from the accused, was there anyone else standing beside the victim? Oh, no, sir. No, there was not. There was no one else around the table but the deceased Englishman and the university student. Hmm? Wait. What did he just say? There was no one else around the table. What's the matter, Ryunosuke? Yeah. What's the matter, Ryunosuke? Because I want to check that statement, too. There was no one else around the table but the deceased Englishman and the university student. That's very peculiar. Considering that the bullet didn't go through, therefore leaving no blood uh, to be seen from his viewpoint, so how would you know that the victim was deceased? Hmm. Okay. How would you know just at a glance? That's... That's just not right. When I went over to Dr. Wilson to say hello, there was a woman sitting opposed him at his table. Oppose him. Opposite of him. <laughs> Oppose him. Really? And that's not something the waiter could have missed. I've been warned about interjecting, but still, what should I do? Let him talk. I desperately, uh, I desperately want to say something, but I was told not to interject. Ryunosuke, if your parent tells you to study, you're the kind of man who would diligently get his work, to, uh, get to work, aren't you? I suppose I am. I never have to go into Yume University otherwise. 
but you can't just uh, always follow the rules in life, you know. If you don't say what you saw, if you don't say what you want to say right now, you'll seriously regret it when you when you're found guilty. You know, for Cosmo, go fuck yourself, because you literally just said, "Don't worry, you'll get your time to talk," and I'm like, "Okay, I won't interrupt." And now you're like, "What are you doing, motherfucker? Interrupt him!" All right, you scared me. <laughs> I won't forget that piece of evidence in a hurry. And there is something I want to say. I'm just gonna shut my eyes and say it. Yes. Just a moment, please. Dr. Wilson wasn't alone that day. I'm sure of it. There was a lady sitting with him at the same table. Attention! Dear, dear me. What are we going to do with you? With your blatant discard of court proceedings, I'm beginning to wonder if you're not a fraud. Could it be that the accused, this mere student, is not a real lawyer after all? But I'm sure of what I saw. Hasono, Hasono no, ah, fuck, I can't say his name. <coughs> Hasonaga, son, is there any chance you've mistaken perhaps your memory of the events is hazy? No. The deceased gentleman came to dine alone. I don't believe it. I actually have a rough plan of the restaurants as it was that day. Please have a look, if you like to. Let me see. Oh, a sketch of the establishment layout. Wait, what? Of the establishment's layout drawn by yourself, I presume. That's right. I'm afraid I used the back, of, the back of my business card. It was a turbulent situation. However, as you can see, the gentleman is question. Uh, the gentleman in question was seated alone. Well, you're clearly a very con, con, con fuck. Hmm. <laughs> Consensuous. I don't. Mm, no, it's not the word. Ah, you're a very diligent waiter. Let's just say that. Fuck me. Why you gotta give me big words, man? Can't you know that my tiny brain can't read? Thank you, sir. The court will take this plan and add it to the court record as evidence. Oh, um, well. Is there a problem? Hand the plan to the court officer at once. Mm, of course. Here you are. What was that about? He's been completely calm and collective until now. Something certainly seems to have shaken him. The waiter's business card. Alright. Waiter's business card, a sketch of the restaurant layout on its back. Why don't we try flipping it over? Alright man, you alright? You're dying over there. So, praise the sun. The court has now heard a... a pre, pre, um, heard a princess... Pre, princess? I... Um, words. Yes, at the moment, the gunshot was heard in the courtroom. In the courtroom. The restaurant. The only person in close proximity to the victim was the defendant on trial today. It would seem we are looking at black and white case here. What? Really? Defendant Naruhoro. Yes, Your Excellency. If you admit your guilt at this stage, the court is willing to look mercifully upon you. In other words, you may have some small reprieve in terms of your inevitable punishment. I call this waiter as an unsworn witness in order to explain the details of the case to the court. But I must warn the defense if you are determined to pursue matters further in this trial. The prosecution has decisive evidence from sworn witness who were uh, from uh, from sworn witnesses who were present at the scene of the crime. You know, uh, hey, uh, judge, fucking judge and other guy. Prosecutor, you guys really like double teaming me here. You know, he, you guys got some, you know, beneficial shit going on here. I get no wiggle room. The fact that you guys didn't even ask my opinion sucks. What do you think I should do, Cosmo? 
You fight it, asshole. What do you mean? Well, I'm gonna be found guilty one way or another, it seems. Wouldn't it be sensible to plead guilty at a stage and hope for a more lenient sentence? Everyone keeps telling me that this trial is unusual about these peculiarities. You said it, Professor Mikotoba said it, and so has the judge and the prosecution. I'm scared of what lies ahead if I push this. As I said from the outset, I believe you're innocent, and I trust you. And yet, despite knowing that, you're willing now to throw that trust back in my face. Is that it? What? If the accused is in fact innocent, then a defense lawyer is duty bound to prove in that innocence by whatever means necessary. Are you just going to abandon that duty? Are you going to give up on yourself? The battle hasn't even begun yet, Ryunosuke. The defense pleads not guilty, Your Excellency. We invite the prosecution to stop making empty threats and bring out this witness. Then we'll see just how decisive the evidence really is. Yeah, for real, man. You guys been threatening me, like, left and right. Indeed. Prosecutor, oh, ouchie, ouchie, uh, whatever the fuck. Ouchie? Oh my god, is it actually supposed to be ouchie? As in, like, ouchies? Like, ow, that hurts. <laughs> Please continue with the proceedings. Well, you were warned. The young can be so reckless. You know, many call me a saint. Oh god, here we go with this shit. But I can be a devil when I want to be. Nobody fucking asked. In a few short moments from now, that dumbstruck youth's mouth of yours, youth's young mouth of yours will be silenced forever. The prosecution calls its next witness. Very well. Officer, bring forth the witnesses at once. Witness, kindly state your name and occupations for the court. Yes, sir. The great Nippon Imperial Army Sergeant... I I Isa? Isanosa? Isanosa? <laughs> really? Isanosa, reporting for duty, sir. Myself, I find employee as a provia what as a prov as a provider of fine articles of of yeah, God antiquities. I can't even fucking read. God, you're using a lot of big words here. Of F of F Lawrence F, F Lawrence's fuck God, whatever. And conduct my trade from Ross Rossity what Rossity a humble premise. Humble premises in the second district. Chiro Chirio Kori Korikuda? These fucking tongue twisters, man. At your service. An antique dealer and a soldier. What an unusual parent. Both of these gentlemen were present were present at the restaurant on the day of the in question. They must be the diners at the other table that the waiter mentioned. Myself, I habitually take tea of the most exquisite aroma at the establishment in question, always post-noon. And not infrequently converse with interest, interest parties regarding the curious, the curious with which I make my business. I'm trying my best here, okay? I can't understand a word the old man is saying. Me neither! As an antique dealer, and it sounds like he's a regular... <coughs> he's an antique dealer and it sounds like he's a regular at Le Carnival. He seeks out potential customers who may have interest in antiques. and tries to sell the wares to them. He obviously targets Le Carnival because it's a high-class restaurant with a rich clientele. Right, I see. Although, to be honest, the sergeant looks more like he'd be a seller rather than a buyer. 
Now you both witnessed the precise moment of the most atrocious incident. Is that correct? Affirmative! The enemy unit was seen attacking the foreigner in what can be only described as an act of war, sir. It was the black uniformed rogue inf infantry man over there who unloaded his firearm, sir. This man's as impossible to understand as the other. But I'm almost sure I heard a strange noise during that last thing he said. So, this is the detec- the detect- the decisive infinite- uh, the dead the dead the dead can't breed. I'm gonna take a drink of my water now, cause I'm losing my fucking mind here. So this is the decisive evidence the prosecution was threatening. The soldier is claiming that he actually saw the precise moment you shot the victim dead. Yes? Well, are you starting to feel uncomfortable? Especially with my hand on your leg. <laughs> if I'm honest, I was feeling uncomfortable from the start. Now, the court will hear your formal testimony, please. You will state everything you saw at the precise moment that the incident occurred. Yes, sir! What the fuck? Is that a baby? Does he have a baby on his back? Does he have a baby on his back? <laughs> yes, sir. Standing by, ready to report, sir. Him! Unsavory memories of the most acu- ac ac Fuck. Acerbic. Acerbic? What the fuck? Acerbic? Acerbic afternoon. I'm old. And I'm constantly shitting myself. What the witness saw. I, s I was ingesting a regulation beefsteak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion with the old man. Myself, I was extolling the virtues of a peculiar, of a particularly fine golden curio. Curio? 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 Curio. Curio to the military gentleman. At the precise moment, a firearm was discharged. I observed the in the enemy's actions with my own eyes. He reminds me of fucking uh, J. Jonah Jameson. Just with a fucking super stash. The black uniform versity. Versity? Ver varsity? Varsity. Varsity. What the hell am I saying? Varsity. Cadet fired on the English. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> fired on the English civilian. And from the back, the coward. The coward little. What? The cowardly little weasel. Fuck. I can't even. The hell's wrong with me? You said I shot him from the back, you idiot. I was on my hands and knees, sucking on some fine tea, ingesting the whereabouts of ingesting, investigating the whereabouts of my mysteriously absconded precious curi curio. I don't know. Fuck. I try my best here. I probably mispronounce everything there. Well. So you, Sergeant Nosa, actually witnessed the vital moment. You saw the split second when the defendant fired the weapon at the victim. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. That wicked university ca cadet, sir. The cruel and unforgivable enemy. What times we live in when an English gentleman may be assa assailed in a broad daylight. Did he just pull out a fucking knife? I'm sorry, what? You serious? You let an old man play with a goddamn knife in the court? But that's ridiculous. I didn't shoot anyone. Is that really true, Ryanosuke? Yes. All I did was pick up the gun I saw lying on the floor. After I said hello to Dr. Wilson, I went back to my table and sat drinking some coffee. Some of that coffee. Then, when I finished, I got up from my seat to leave the restaurant, when I noticed an English-made gun next to the chair where the professor was sitting. I thought perhaps the professor had dropped it. So I bent down, and just as I was picking it up, well, if that's the truth, there was obviously a criminal on the scene somewhere. 
And somewhere in these two witness testimonies, there's a clue as to who the criminal was. There is. Ryunosuke, you must exercise your right to cross-examine the witness. Cross-examine? Do it now. Do it. But a Jedi must not kill. Do it. <laughs> As we have heard, Your Excellency, there's no room for doubt in the testimony of these witnesses. The defendant is clearly guilty. It is time to bring this dis this despicable student to justice. Certainly. Come on, Judge, you didn't even fucking... Come on, man, you're not even letting me talk. Certainly, the testimony the court just uh, has heard eliminate any, any uh, visage of doubt. Therefore, it is my grave duty to declare the verdict yes. of this trial. What in names of the Emperor is the meaning of this outburst? I am... Um, I mean... The defense... I demand its... Uh, I demand its right to cross-examination. Dear me, dear me. Let me guess. The Hachimaki headband boy next door told me to do it? How pathetic. Huh? How did he know? The prosecution objects. This is a clear waste of time. You can't fucking object to that. The defendant obviously has no experience. How can he possibly carry out cross-examination? How can I possibly fucking defend myself if you won't let me? Objection! The defense is, is asserting... <clears throat> the defense is asserting its right to cross-examination. That was me clearing my throat. Whether or not you think he's capable of it is irrelevant. By the way, we did a fucking test earlier to see if I was competent enough to do it. Cosmo's so demanding. I just want him to pin me up against the wall. Very well. Let the defense conduct a cross-examination of the witness. Alright, this is where the battle really begins, Ryanosuke. But, I don't even know what I have to do in a cross-examination. Isn't it obvious? You have to expose the lies in the witness's statement. How? You didn't fire the gun, which means that the soldier said what the soldier said has to be a lie. Well, yes, but... It's just a case of proving it. And the key to do that is the evidence. Right. Evidence. All you need to do is present some decisive and indisputable evidence that proves the witness is lying. Now let's go, Ryudesuke. Don't let them beat you. Only I can beat your meaty. <laughs> Alright then, it's all or nothing. All right. Oh my God, I don't even have a fucking health bar. It's just, it's just fucking strikes. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Records, save. They, they have their auto save, but I just wanna, I'm not sure about their checkpoint system because there were some problems with that in the other game. So constantly save. All right, and Justin Ray, blah, 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 blah. Mason, Fiber 6, shooting. Uh-huh. Price moment firearm discharge. Actions with my own eyes. Blackmail fired English man from the back. Alright. I'm gonna present this. Death occurred a little after 2 p.m. and was. Wait, did he even say the time? Hold up. <laughs> did he even say the time of day? Hold up. Uh, precise moment. I just really wanna check. Uh, with the old man. Okay, he never said, like, the time. Okay, cool. Precise moment, it was fired. Alright. Yeah. So, he said I shot him in the back. But, our post-mortem report says that it was caused by... Wait, what? <coughs> Death occurred a little after 2 p.m. and was caused by loss of blood from a gunshot to the chest. Now, as I recall, the chest is not your back. Yes! What? 
What are you playing at, Cadet? What is the meaning of this sub uh, subordination? Thrusting this wad of papers in my moustache. In Inconsistency, sir. I mean, yes! There's a clear inconsistency here. What nonsense. Can this document possibly tell us that we don't already know? Well, obviously. That's, uh... I know what I want to say, but the words just won't come out of my mouth. I know that feeling all the time, Ryunosuke. I think this provides beyond any doubt, Your Excellency. Provides. See, I, I did it. The moment he was talking about it, I fucking did it. The word was prove, and my mind said provide. Alright, that there is no place for an amateur student here in the grand courtroom. Hmm. This is so frustrating. Oh, please. Surely this doesn't require any explanation. It could be more- it couldn't be more plain. To spell it out would be an insult to the court. Cosma, what? What are you talking about? I said you're all a bunch of dumbasses. It's apparent from a single glance at the post-mortem report presents, presented by the uh, defense, I can't fucking read, that there's a clear discrepancy here with the sergeant's statement. What? Sergeant Isanosa. Isanosa, Nosa Ista, yes sir, what is it? The statement you just made was this. The black uniform varsity cadet fired on the English civil civilian, and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. Yes sir, affirmative. I witnessed the crime with my own military grade eyes. Yes! But no! It just can't be! And why not, Cadet? Because... 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 As it's clearly stated in the post-mortem report, fatal hemorrhage from the... from the pectoral... Well... Uh, I gotta clear my fucking throat. <coughs> From the pectoral ballistic trauma, no exit wound. Bullet did not pass through the body. The photographic print of the victim clearly shows the same thing. The victim, Dr. Wilson, died from a bullet wound to the chest. Uh. Sergeant, according to your witness statement, the culprit shot the victim from behind. You're trying to tell me that he hit it from the back? <laughs> <laughs> and that it's obviously a discrepancy here. Well, how do you explain it? It is baby back there. Oh, uh, well, uh, what the fuck? What, what the? What was that? Something just popped up from behind his back, but he pushed it back down. Certainly, there's a clear discrepancy with the facts here. Would you not agree, Sergeant Nosa? No, sir, I would not agree. <laughs> yes, sir. At this, at this juncture, that would appear to be indisputable. Until the moment I heard the firearm discharge, my eyes were... Firmly fixed on a delicious La Carnival steak, sir. What? The last testimony the court heard was proven one thing beyond all reasonable doubt. This witness, Sergeant Isa Nosa, did not see the def the defendant firing a gun at all. Oh, that's absurd. I think the conclusions we must draw are simple. There is no place for an amateur prosecutor here in the grand courtroom. I got a reward! There's been a complete turnabout in the mood of this trial, just from that one discrepancy. So this is what being an ace attorney is all about. But, but I definitely saw him. The university cadet there. He was pointing the firearm directly at the victim's back. Yes! 
but I never fired the gun. All I did was pick it up on the floor. Pick it up on the floor. Pick it up off the floor. Pick it up on the floor. Jesus, my ghetto-ness is showing. And you, old man, you didn't see the moment the victim was shot either. I can't even see my penis anymore. There's a bunch of skin flaps down there. Myself, I have already been quite clear. The gunshot interests me not. I was far too busy f on the floor. Doing the dinosaur. Because dinosaurs are old like me and they all died. <laughs> too busy on the floor. Sorry, what were you doing? Hunting for treasure. Treasure. Indeed! The Horiera Koban, uh, my prized coin. On each occasion when I visit the restaurant, it is my habitual, my, my, ha my, my habitual, my habitude, habitude, that's a word, my habitude to place in my bosom pocket a peculiar trinket of interest from my shop. Razuti, Razute, something, something in the hopes of meeting a rich diner who might like to buy it from you. On the day under scrutiny, it was the military man that I preferred, prefer, uh, preferred, pro-offered my ho, my ho, ho, honey, fuck. Ho, 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 -y? <laughs> I don't, uh, ho, -y? is it ho, -y? I don't know. My treasure. Believe that he would purchase such a rare find. I did not, but I was presented with little alternative. And now, I mean, and then, after averting my eyes for a briefest of moments, it was there no more. It simply vanished. The Koban vanished. Hunting around under the table, I was in case may well, in case may have it had fallen there. And then it happened. The biggity bangity boongity boong. The gun was shot, and all befell to doom. You heard the gunshot, you mean? Indeed I did, but I heeded it not, for I was concerned only with finding my absconded horrid treasure. Nothing could distract me, except for the inevitability of my death out of interest did you find the coin in the end no hmm, I see that lamentable day the precious Hori Koban was lost to me just like my grandson he doesn't visit anymore no doubt some unscrupulously, some unscrupulous scoundrel pocketed the prize coined from himself. As I'm sure, <coughs> as I am sure everyone present is aware, this case demands a swift and decisive resolution. Our government has promised to send a full report to the Great Britain by telegraph this very afternoon. Really, guys? Nevertheless, the witness testimony, uh, the witness testimony the court has just heard was in, was inconclusive. No matter how subservient our government feels, it must be to the British. It would be unforgivable to deliver a verdict on this trial right now. I'm sorry, give me a second, I'm, I'm... Sorry, I thought I heard somebody knocking at my door. All right. <clears throat> knock, knock, knocking at heaven's door. What is your position, Prosecutor oh, Ouchie? Oh, ouchie, indeed. Worry not, Your Excellency. The defendant may have fled a tiger at the front... Wait, what? The defendant may have fled a tiger at the front gate, but he will not find a wolf at the back. What? My witness have further testimonies to make. Explain. Upon hearing their next statements, it would become abundantly clear. 
that there is only one person who could possibly have committed this dis uh, dis despicable crime. Uh, for some reason, I'm losing my ability to read as we go on. The equality, uh, the equality. Yeah, equality. What? E equally. E equally, not equality. Fuck. The equally despicable defendant, Ryunosuke Narahoro. What? He really seems to have a despicable opinion of you, doesn't he? He can be despicable opinions about these knots. Very well. <laughs> the court invites the witness to testify again. You will thoroughly examine the reason behind the prosecution's allegations. Is that clear? As clear as ki Kiriko glass, your excellency. Yes, sir. At once, sir. Awaiting signal to testify, sir. What is that baby holding? Excuse me, but there's something or someone peeking out over your shoulder, I think. Affirmative! The newest member of the Nosa family is uh, to raise up through the ranks. I'm trying to see what the fucking... Oh, never mind. I thought the baby had something in its hand. It's just, it's like his shoulder pads. Uh, what, uh, his name is Ido. Okay. I don't know, sir. <laughs> Isa Nosa, and I don't know, sir. <laughs> hmm. It would seem those straps are, uh, those straps are, oh, damn it. You've seen those straps are signs of a surgeon being too strapped to afford a nanny. Ido. Teen Shun. What? Add attention? Really? Add attention is his name? Your father is about to quell the enemy. Your father- Oh, I was about to read the same thing twice. Watch and learn, my boy. He's like if Waluigi had a family. <laughs> the true culprit. Even if it was what I saw wasn't the precise moment of the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Yes, pointing his gun at the foreign man, he was that young- Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Pointing his gun at the foreign man, he was- Oh, dude talks like fucking Yoda. Point <laughs> Pointing his gun at foreign man, he was. <laughs> that young lad in black, that much I myself did see. Furthermore, a visual, a visual search of the premise at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. Therefore, no one other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman. Over and out. Hmm. This testimony, uh, yes! these testimonies are certainly compelling. Wait, that's, that's nonsense. The victim, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone. Please, enough of these outbursts already. But there was a woman. There was a young woman at its table. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen her. Attention! If you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly. Oh, like you obviously do? <laughs> we are not here to listen to your fantasies. Oh, like you obviously do? Huh? <laughs> it is evident beyond all reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution has photographic evidence of that fact. Is this a photograph print of the scene of the crime council? Hmm. Okay, he was eating the steak. Indeed. Uh... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, give me a moment. Just to... Clarify a little something, 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 no? Aha! Oh wait, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind, I jumped to some conclusions. I jumped to a little bit of a conclusion there. Because I was looking at it. And then, uh... And I was like, where did the flower go? Right, but I can see, I can see a little bit of it on the side, so... It's still there. But more importantly, why is the chair faced the other way? Hmm. Okay. Is the chair facing that way? 
is it facing the same way in this photo? Because it's kind of hard to tell for me. They, they both look like they're facing the same direction. Anyways, let's move on. Indeed, on the table of which the victim was dying and taken by an investigator immediately after the incident, as can... Excuse me. <coughs> what the fuck? Oh, I just got a notification someone's playing Outriders on Steam. People still play that game? Fuck. As can plainly see, there is only one play, play set. Certainly, based on the appearance of this print, it would be reasonable to conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone. Hmm. This doesn't make any sense. The court will add this new photographic evidence to the records. There we go. A bottle of carbonated water and steak lunch can be seen on the victim's table. I don't understand. What's going on here? It's just not possible that nobody else uh, nobody else saw that woman. The waiter before said the same thing. He mentioned that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone as well. I'm sorry, can I? Kitchen, entrance. Really? No back entrance. Magnifying glass. Oh, thanks for that. Let's see. So this is where he was sitting. Each table is seated for four. Okay. Hmm. All right. But there is... There is two entrances into the kitchen. That's notable. He maintains that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone as well. But that's not true. I saw her. I swear that I saw a woman with him. It would seem that we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain on time after all. The witness testimonies we just heard leave no further room for doubt. These are very sensitive po political times, as we all know. The ink is still fresh on the treaty with Great Britain. To think that I, Teku uh, te <coughs> Tekatsuchi Aochi, Jesus, that's a mouthful, will have contributed to the amenity of these two great empires in its honor. How can this be happening? The judge is ready to rule. Time to start pressing. Stand tall, Ryunosuke. It's not over yet. I am thou and thou art I. Accept your persona. What? If what you say is true, and there's something going on here behind the scenes. And now it's your chance to expose it, to draw out the truth in your cross-examination. I don't know, Kazuma. <clears throat> I gotta clear my fucking throat. The defense is entitled to cross-examine uh, cross the witness, but make it quick, understood? Rules can be so unbending at times, go fuck yourself. All right, let's see, before we start, just make sure we get that save going when I inevitably fuck this up. There we go. All right. Let's see what we're looking at here. Well, first of all, I would like to see the evidence that we have all together right now. Uh, how do I switch over to people? like to switch over to people please uh, press present history I thought you press R again to switch over to people but they're not letting me or is it Y nope it's uh, it's R but they just won't let me that's fine okay universally collar pen postmortem don't think I'll need that photograph of victim all right let's see well he's facing away from the table interesting to note um, steak Seems to be eaten, fork moved, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And this was, when was this taken? Uh, can be seen on the victim's table. 
Well, this was taken. Well, when was this taken? This was taken after they removed the body. So, yeah, the, the chair's still facing that way. That's so interesting. All right. Okay. All right, let's see. Even if what I saw wasn't precise, moment of firearm discharging is almost the same thing. Yes, pointing his gun at the foreign at the foreign man, he was. Okay, you see that yourself. Furthermore, a visual search of the premise at the time confirmed that there was only one personnel present. Uh, only one. Why did I say only one? What the hell's wrong with me? Uh, that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was the Englishman, dining all by himself. Therefore, no other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over and out. Am I allowed to press things right now, or do I have to wait for a tutorial for that? Hmm. Yes! I'm gonna press that. You must have noticed something else at Dr. Wilson's table. Up uh, something. Someone else at Dr. Wilson's table. There was a lady there. As you have seen, uh, have you, oh, fuck, I can't even fucking read no more. As you have been at pain, uh, as you have been at pains to point out times, and again, I feel I'm growing a callus in my ear. And yet, no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman. Uh, if only it had been more people dining there at that time. Unfortunately, it was already past 2 p.m. when it happened. The hmm. The quiet time between the quiet time between lunch and dinner in the restaurant. I know, of course, this place was almost empty. It's what you expect. Certainly, 2 p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of time to eat. I wonder if there was, if I wonder if there was a reason why the victim was eating at the time of day, and why he was alone. Yes, Your Excellency, there was indeed a reason. There was. This was found at the victim's jacket pocket. Oh, withholding evidence, you piece of shit. What is that, counsel? It is a medicine report card. It is medicine. A medical report card, Your Excellency. My dog just hacked in my ear. It would seem that the victim had an appointment at the clinic prior to visiting the restaurant. Hmm. Hada Clinic. Oh my god, are we. Motherfucker. That guy? <laughs> His ancestors? Hmm, yes. Yes, there would, be in, there would indeed appear to be an entry for the date in question. 19th November, noon, uh, noon to pass, ah, fuck, noon to pass 1 p.m. Hmm, very day of the incident. So the victim went for a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation couldn't be more simple. The prosecution felt no need to submit this evidence before as it really has no bearing on the case. Go fuck yourself, yes it does. I wonder... What do you think, Ryunosuke? Well, it's hard to see how it would be related. Remember, you can request for it to be entered into court. Yes, please. Should I ask Dr. Walson's medical... Yes, yes, please. Submit this shit. Yes! Submit everything. If I may, I'd like to ask for the medical report card to be submitted as evidence, Your Excellency. Oh, on what grounds? On grounds that you can go fuck yourself. The court has already heard conclusive witness testimony. Additional evidence would be extra extraneous. Not to mention that the victim's moments prior to his arrival at the restaurant were of no concern. Uh, I mean, I think it is concern. Objection! Whether or not they are of concern is up to uh, is uh, fuck. It's up to us to decide. We have the right to explore all possible avenues. I beg your pardon? You have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request for the submission of evidence. Very well. The court will grant will grant the defense request. Youngsters these days are forever asserting their rights. It's the most disturbing trend. Ugh, not sure about that hot take. Officer. Kindly add the victim's medical record, uh, medical report card to the court records. All right, I would like to see them for myself. Uh, what we right now, what we need right now, is new clues. 
We have to explore things from every possible angle. Okay. I mean, I'm already doing that. Hmm. You can aspire to prolong this trial as much as you like, but it's the day after the festival already for you. Or perhaps you've forgotten that these witness testimonies have no room for doubt. Feel free to retaliate f for the accused. Okay. Indeed, alone he was. Alright, let me see. Now we have this. Medical report. Can I check it? Usually there would be a check button, right? An examine button, but I can't examine. Medical report card. Huh. Alright, well, it's nice to have at least. Let's see. For the more visual premises. Yes, that's what I pressed on. Point his gun for him, and he was young lady and don't lean it back that much myself, I did see. A young lady. That's a young lady, young lad in black. How did you see that if you were looking at the ground? Yes! Yes, it may be true that I was holding the gun. Oh, he's talking about after. Alright. But I told you already. It's only because I picked it up on the picked it up from the floor. Well, obviously, as the culprit, that's the only way you could explain it. I had to just finish drinking my coffee and I was about to leave the restaurant when... I noticed a gun on the floor at Dr. Wilson's feet, so I picked it up. And at the exact... and at that exact moment... Biggity bang! Shwiggity swang! Gunshot rang in my ears. Hmm. Full of events beyond our control, life is. Sorry? What do you mean? In your case, you found a pistol on the floor and picked it up, which... With, uh, <clears throat> which pre, which pre, uh, God, I can't even say it work. Precip, precipitated, fuck, <laughs> this, this testing predicament. Whereas, conversely, conversely, I think, I failed to pick up the Koban from the floor and find myself in an equally testing predicament as well. What? Anyways, the fact remains, myself, I did see you. With pistol in hand standing over the foreigner. Okay. Furthermore, visual search of the premises of time confirmed there were only uh, that personnel present. Is that the one that I pressed before? I think that's the one I might have pressed before. Then what's this one? Even I saw at that precise moment firearms discharge is almost the same thing. What? How is that the yes! same thing? What the fuck are you talking about? No, 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 it's not the same thing at all. For a start, I didn't fire the gun. You have a difference of opinion on that? The opinion of ununiformed officer versus that of a fleeting cadet? I don't think so. Consider this, defendant. Just a moment ago, I blinked. Um, did you? Did you see it? Did you see me blink? How could I? And yet, it is undeniable fact that I did blink. So there you have it. Have what? Yeah, wh what's your fucking point? The sound of the firearm rang to my ears in the very m next moment. I saw you waving the gun at the Englishman. I think that says it all, don't you? And let us not forget that the antique dealer witnessed the accused in the moment incriminating in the eh, fuck, in this most incriminating position as well. Isn't that so? Okay. Furthermore, check the premises. Indeed alone he was the Englishman dining all by himself, and then you say, therefore, no other than the black uniform that could dispatch the Englishman over and out. Yes! I'm just gonna press everything else because I might as well do it, right? So you actually saw that with your own eyes, did you? The victim, Dr. Wilson, dining alone. That I did. Forgive me for the position I placed you in. Liar. So the testimony of the old man, the soldier, and the waiter all agree on that point. Isn't that interesting? And let us not forget the inconsistable... Inconsistable? 
incontestable, my bad, evidence, we have to support the statement as well. As can clearly see, there is only a, a single beefsteak on the victim's table, a meal for one. No. The antiques dealer, the sergeant, and the waiter who testified before. It's not impossible that they're all lying. But if so, then why? Am I perfect? If I'm perfectly honest, I have absolutely no idea. Hmm. What's your name? Okay. All right. Therefore, no other than the black uniform cadet yes! dispatched. All right. Why aren't you telling the truth? What? What did you say, Cadet? I clearly remember. There was a woman sitting across the table from the professor. Perhaps one of you may have not noticed. But for both of you to have failed to see the professor's dining companion, it's just not possible. You guys are assholes. Fortunately for you, Defendant Narukoto, it's not just a case of these two witnesses alone. Sorry? The waiter, whose testimony the court heard earlier, clearly stated the same thing. He also said that the victim was alone. That's right. Precisely. In other words, you are the sole... <coughs> you are the sole proponent of this phantom lady. But, damn it. Such a woman were indeed present at the scene, the prosecution demands to see proof. Oh, go fuck yourself, man. And if no such proof exists, the prosecution demands that no further mention of this phantom woman be made. It is a blatant waste of court's time. There's nothing I can say to that. Hmm. Excellent work, Ryonosuke. We gleaned some new information now. Yes, but we, but I don't feel like it changed much. I can't see that it brings out real discrepancies to light. Who would it be so sure? Let me see that medical report card you got there. Oh, you mean this? Yes, this is a brand new piece of evidence. So perhaps we should examine it in a little more detail. Please fucking do. No, exactly. With your fucking eyes. You notice some pieces of evidence bear the magnifying glass. Yes, you may examine. Press A, and you can take a closer look. Use the buttons. And you can turn it! Ain't that some fancy shit. To rotate the evidence in all directions and examine it from all angles. By using those buttons. You can use a cursor. You can move the crosshairs around and hunt for clues that may have been missed before. If the crosshairs start to pulsate, press A to investigate it further. So, partner, I think you should take a closer look at this medical report card. See if there's something new to be learned by examining it in more detail. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I just gotta use the herf dark herf 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 in the A button, right? Alright, let's see. Let's see. Hot a clinic. Medical uh, required for every visit. What's this? Mr. John Wilson Hong Clinic. Okay, name. That's just the name. There's no. I was trying to see what the stamp said, but you know. Behind it is. Ooh, look at that. Dentist. Oh. Okay. There's no date on it, though. That's interesting. Looks like the medical report card was first issued quite some time ago. Probably record of long-term treatment. That's why with, uh, that's why. With the fam, with family doctor, I imagine. Well, I can't imagine going to a doctor, I mean. As long as I am alive, I'm never consoling one. Well, if you were dead, there'd be no point. So you don't like doctors, then? Why would you? They make you drink horrible tasting medicine. They give you painful injections. And then they demand lots of money from you for the privilege. <laughs> Damn it! You're hitting, hitting pretty hard, man. Only well, you're at the lowest, of, <laughs> the lowest ebb. So you sound like a model patient, with a bad case of stubbornness, no less. 
for which the only cure is very bitter medicine indeed. Okay. Well, let's flip this bad boy over. Oh. I see. You're not gonna give me a... not gonna give me no highlights here? Okay, well, I guess I'll check the last entry. Let's have a look. This is some kind of medical history. Ah, and there's an entry for for the day that the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with topical anesthesia. Extraction of molar? Do you mean he had a tooth taken out? It would seem so. Just before the incident, he had a bad tooth removed. Perhaps they used laughing gas. That's the most modern practice in the West for pain relief. Yes, I've heard of these anesthetics. Anesthesias, whatever. Although, it's hard to believe that there's anything that can actually stop you from feeling pain. Hmm. There's a cautionary note from the medical practitioner as well. Strictly no food or drink besides water for three hours post-procedure until anesthetics effects have passed. Really? Sounds like information worth bearing in mind. Oh, I see. So he wasn't the one eating the food. With this new information, the meaning of the one particular statement totally changes. So I think it's time to listen to the testimony again, don't you? Definitely. Alright. Precise moment, firearm, go fuck yourself. Yes, point of the gun, da da da. Furthermore, visual search for instance, time confirmed that there was only one person present. Indeed, alone, dining all by himself. Oh, yes? Then what about this, yes. my good sir? Um, uh, well, I think, um... About what are you wiltering, lad? Call yourself a lawyer? Not over my dead grave! <laughs> I wish I could, but first and foremost here, I'm the accused. Ryunosuke. Everyone stumbles on their words occasionally. Oh yeah, just fucking just look at me, for example. Until the circumstances, well, under the circumstances, see, I just, I, I did it immediately. Under the circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Kazuma. I could see it quite clearly in the cross-examination you just carried out. When you raised your hand straight up like that, so purposefully. It made me rock hard. <laughs> you knew exactly what it was that you wanted to say. Don't feel like you have, a, have to choose your words carefully. Just say what you're thinking. All right. And thanks for the advice. I like big booty bitches. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kirikuda-san. I hope I totally butchered your name. Anyways, this is a medical report card belonging to the victim. Uh, yes, I see. And I don't see. What of it, boy? Comparing what is written on the report card with your witness statement, something clearly doesn't add up. Attention! Dear me, dear me. Have you forgotten my words so soon, you amateur? Sorry, what? You are not to interrupt court proceedings with your amateurish drivel. But, let's see if I can explain in words you might understand. It was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered at the restaurant. Whenever he may or may not have done before that time is completely irrelevant. But that's... Remember, Ryonosuke, you don't have to use clever language or fancy words. But we're gonna force you to do it anyways, because that's how we've written this script. <laughs> Just make your point. Your Excellency, I believe we're finished here. There's surely no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. The witness testimony the court has heard have been clear and concise. This medical report card has no bearing on the matters at all, for the simple reason that there is no one else beside this pale-faced pupil who could possibly... This medical report card has nothing to do with this case. Do you really believe that? What? That outburst half, per half petrified me, boy. Of course, he said I got a little halfy going on there. <laughs> of course I believe it. How could it possibly be irrelevant? 
Perhaps because Hana Clinic, which issued the report card, is a dental clinic. A dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Perhaps if I told you the victim had just had a tooth extracted. <gasps> what is this now? And furthermore, if I told you that as a result, the victim had been forbidden from eating. Just, just what are you trying to say, Kurt? He had orders not to eat, so what? It's all written up in here. No food or drink other than water for three hours post-procedure while anesthesia wears off. What? No, that... that can't... Kurikuda-san! What, boy? What is it? As you just heard. When he was killed sometime shortly after 2 p.m., the victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No! Additionally, there's more. You have asserted, you have assured the court will be unwavering self-confidence. That the victim was dining alone. But that cannot be possible. That cannot possibly be the case. Because the victim, as we now know, had just, had, had just had one of his teeth extracted it was still experiencing the effects of the anesthetics. Expertly done, partner. Attention! What? What is this nonsense, you little upstart? These are baseless accusations. Just look at the photographic evidence. You can clearly see the plate of food at the victim's table. Objection! Use your head. That's the very discrepancy we're talking about. Or can't you follow the logic? How? How dare you? I think it's fair to say that the tables in the restaurant case have turned. What did you agree, Ryanosuke? Huh? Yeah, most definitely. So having just undergo some dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat. Which leaves one very crucial conundrum. Who in fact was eating the pictured beefsteak? The court will hear the opinions of the defense on this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, counsel. Counsel? Oh, that, that means me, doesn't it? Alright, the answer to this question is going to be provital. Provotal. I don't know, privatal. This is the start of your turning the case around. Wait, turning the trial around. Show them what you made of. Got it. So, uh. The person eating the steak at the victim's table must have been. Me! The two witnesses. <laughs> An as yet unknown third party. Obviously, it can only have been someone else who was sitting at the professor's table. You will not let this go, will you? There's no such person. Yes. There was, because I saw her. When the incident occurred, we know the victim couldn't have been eating anything. Yet, we have evidence of a half-eaten steak at his table. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is that there was somebody else there eating it. We have strong evidence to support our assertions. It's clear that this witness testimony are unreliable. If the court decides to push through a ruling at this stage, we will lodge a formidable complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial. Relentlessly. Kazuma? Are you insane? You would take on the government! Don't worry, Counsel. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have issue with them, to those two witnesses in the stands. What are you talking about? We have demonstrating with evidence. We demonstrated. We have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone. 
So, if it now turns out that the two of you deliberately lied when giving your testimonies, obviously you will be charged with pre with pre jury perjury. Ugh, can't even speak. Perjury. And since this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed compli uh, compli compli uh, compli complicate. Can't fucking words <laughs> in the killing. Complicate and murder. Oh no. Negative. There. There was no mention of, of this at a tactical meeting. I was just following orders. That's right. That's right. As the man says, just say you never saw the gentlewoman that was there, but they told us. Ew. What? What did you just say, Kurokata-san? You am no. You were just following orders? No, hold on, lad. I was, uh... Say you never saw the gentlewoman. When you say gentlewoman, do you mean... You saw the victim with the lady from overseas. What? Objection! What? What's the meaning of all this? These witnesses gave false statements? Is this true, you pair? Just one. Just one simple slip of the tongue. Oh shit, y'all done fucked up. Order! Council, explain what's going on here. It's painfully clear now. You try to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not. The prosecution knows nothing of this. Why he keeps looking back at his hands when he does that? He's like, man, I didn't slap the table hard enough. Then who's behind this? We tried to make you keep your mouth shut. Well, um... That's classified. So you're prepared to be tried as a conspirator to this murder, are you? You, you wouldn't. This can't be happening. Ryunosuke. Judging from the way they're reacting to this, I'd say they were sworn to silence by someone with considerable influence. Possibly maybe someone who's a son of some sort of politician. However, I don't believe Auchi... <laughs> I don't believe Auchi had any idea about it. What are you saying? I mean, to wield that kind of influence? There's only, only a handful of possibilities. It could only have been the government, the military, or the police, I suppose. Well, any ideas about who might be behind this? If we can affirm if we can affirm who tried to silence these witnesses. Then we can continue our pursuit. Hey Breezy, I'm having like a hiccup problem right now. So, we need to name whoever it is that was trying to make the witnesses keep their mouth shut. Of course, we'll need evidence before we make any firm accusations. Evidence that proves whoever, whoever it, uh, God damn it, I can't read. Prove whoever it was really did wield his or her power here. But how? How can we possibly? Remember how we made progress before? Before. We examined this piece of evidence in more detail and found the new clue as a result. Can we please look at the back of the fucking business card or whatever the hell he gave us? The map? The floor plans? Oh yes, that's right. Well, it's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to re-examine everything and make sure there's nothing we've missed. There's no time to lose. I want answers, damn it! If it's proven that there's witness- proven that these witnesses have been manipulated, I assure you the penalty will be severe. Please, wait. Your Excellency, I'll suck your dick for Christ's sake. <laughs> Don't punish me. I had no idea about any of this. I swear to every Shinto god. I knew nothing. 
And what does the fence have to say about all this? Hmm? Uh, well, Your Excellency. No time to think. I'm just gonna have to close my eyes and shout out the first name that comes to my head. It was the one-armed man. Besides the prosecution, the only person with me necessary. Oh wait, damn it! The only person with the necessary influence to manipulate the witnesses themselves. Let's see, uh, European style restaurant, liquor and brown, serving there on the, on the day of the incident. Mm -hmm. Victim. Really. Besides prosecution, the only person. Army. Well, those two were told to keep shut. Imperial human authorities. Huh. Maybe? No fucking way. But why? Victim of the case, he was visiting Professor Medical Human. Okay. Alright. Just give me a quick second. I gotta head to the bathroom. I'm gonna piss myself. All right, we're back now. Ugh, I had to run to the bathroom. I was gonna piss all over myself. It would have been bad for everyone involved. All right, so who would shut them up? Either military police or government. My mind instantly goes to government because there's really no one here of the other two rankings here. And when I think about government, it's either 
either he has some fucking weird connections, right? Because I wish that I can just, you know, look at the card he gave us so I can flip it to the other side and see what it says because he might have some connections. Um, especially since he runs a Western style, uh, well, European style restaurant, right? He would have connections, but he's dead. <laughs> he's super dead. And the only other person who have connections is, you know, Mikotoba. But Mikotoba didn't seem like a bad guy when we met him, right? You know? He's an authority in forensic medical... Uh, medical I keep saying medical. In forensic medicine and Cosma's mentor. Right? To be fair, he is also the one that told me to represent myself just in case shit goes to the wall. You know? So... I don't want to, but I think the biggest possibility here is Mikotoba, right? Yes. There. What do you think of that? I think, Consul, that you may want to close your ears as well as your eyes. Yeah. Otherwise, the signs of disappointment in the courtroom may be very well deafening. Yeah. Okay. Listen, when they fucking when they sit there and they go, "Hey, man." He's a figure in the world. <laughs> All right, I'll take the penalties. My first penalty, I'll take it. I find it hard, right? Because then that only leads to I don't have great I, I don't have great deal of influence myself. But believe me, I can find other ways to make you keep your mouth shut as well. All right, don't get angry. Jesus. Clue somewhere in the court records. All right, then let me check the fucking court records, because you wouldn't let me. Can I flip this over? Yeah! Chief Inspector... Oh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Like, the moment he gave us the card, he's like, wait, no, give that back. And I'm like, what the fuck are you on about? And no one flips it over? Chief Inspector. Okay, so he was a bullshitting. <laughs> I should have stuck with my gut. I should have stuck with my gut instead of overanalyzing shit. Jesus fuck. Alright. To people. And it's that dude. Alright, I got it. I got it. I got a Cosma. You don't gotta fucking attack me with your unyielding justice. What I got to say about this? I know what I got to say. It's that dude. He looks so fancy with that fan. He's an asshole with that fan. <laughs> Alright. It was this dude. Should've just stuck with my gut. Well, surely that would be... Satura Hon Honsonaga. I fuck. Honsonaga. Honsonaga-san. Oh, Masaka. The waiter who took the stand earlier. Poppycock! What possible reason would the waiter have to make the witness give false testimony? Not to mention the fact that, that even a head waiter could not possibly have the level of influence. For once, I would agree with you. If that is the man truly, if the man was truly a waiter. What? If he truly were. Come on, Ryanosuke. Time to hit this court with the truth. The truth about Satoru uh, Tosun, uh, fuck, whatever, man. I'm gonna just examine it and just flip it over and truly examine it. So it can be added into evidence. Well, that's unexpected. What is? Look, do you see, do you see it says the witness's name here, Satoru Hosonoka? Well, yes, business cards do tend to show the person's name. That's sort of the point. It's not the name that, uh, that's unexpected. It's his job title. His job? Oh! It says that he's a man-thought. <laughs> Chief Inspector Satoru Honsonoka... Uh, fuck, his name is fucked up. <laughs> Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. Inspector? Oh, Inspector! What on earth? Hmm, I have no idea. But let's face it, the police have a lot of power and influence. They're wielding it somehow here. Hey, it's officially in there now. Cool. Now I'm gonna throw that at them. Check this shit. 
in. The plan of the restaurant sketched by the man in question. I agree, it shows a great detail of attention to detail. But I'm not sure, I'm not so sure we can conclude anything. Sorry, Excellency. That's the back of the card. It's the back of the back of the card that interests me. I'm telling you to hit it from the back. Stop hitting it from the front and hit it from the back. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oh, or perhaps I should have said the front. Yes. It's the front of the back of the card. Jesus, fuck. It's the front of the back of the card. That, uh, that's where the telling details are. Would somebody please explain what this overexcited student is trying to say? I'm saying flip it the fuck over. Hosona got son sketched the plans of the restaurant on the reverse side of the business card. The front of the business card reveals the man in question's profession, his true profession. The waiter's profession. But that's surely... Good! Good gracious! Oh, good god, woe is me. That's right, Your Excellency. The card reads, Chief Inspector, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. That is a long fucking title. What? The waiter is a police detective? I haven't heard any mention of this before. Why haven't I heard any mention of this before? The Imperial Police Bureau has immense power, absolute power, as far as regular civilians are concerned. So, witnesses, witnesses there in the stand. Was it in fact the waiter who gave you your orders? Was it he who told you not to mention that you seen this foreign gentlewoman at the scene? Well... <laughs> Inspector Honoka. Honosaka. Osonoka. I don't even fuck. How the fuck you say your name? I was worried something like this may happen. The moment you asked to submit my sketch as evidence, I realized it was a possibility. The court will now take this plan and add it to the court record as evidence. Oh, um, well. Is there a problem? And the plan to the court officer at once. Of course, here you are. Yes, I remember now. He did act strangely when the judge asked him to hand over his business card. I strive to carry out all investigations flawlessly. It is my guiding principle. But I let myself be distracted when I made that sketch. It was an unsurely careless mistake. Unsurely? Why did I say that? Unusually careless mistake. So, you mean to say, you really are a detective? But why would a detective be working as a restaurant waiter? <gasps> of course, your salary must... I was working undercover. Undercover? Yes. There has been a series of incidents at the restaurant recently. In order to investigate, I decided to get a job there as a waiter, working undercover. Incidents at the restaurant? What kind of incidents? That would be classified police information, which I am not at liberty to divulge. However, I can state categorically that there are unrelated that they are unrelated to this case of homicide. Hmm. Very well then, Inspector Hosonoka. But you will elaborate on one point for the court. Of course, Your Excellency. We have just heard new information from the two witnesses beside you. That at the time of the shooting, there was in fact another person present at the victim's table. If that is indeed true, clearly you would also have been aware of this person's presence, having served at that table in question. However, 
your testimony did not allude to this other diner. Therefore, I am lead to assume that in your professional capacity as a police officer, you required these witnesses to be in agreement. Would that be correct? Correct, Your Excellency. Unbelievable. As I suspected. As soon as I heard the gunshot, oh my bad, wrong voice. As soon as I heard the gunshot, I ran out of the kitchen to see what had happened. The victim sat slumped in his chair, and beside him, a gun in hand, stood the accused student. Sitting opposite the victim at the same table was a young lady, whom I guessed to be an English woman. So the truth comes out. I intimidently, intimidly, uh, intimidently, why did I say that? I immediately sealed out the restaurant and reported the incident to the bureau. It was then that I received some special orders. Special orders? So you mean, remove the Englishwoman from the scene at once. It was made clear that the Englishwoman's presence at the restaurant was to be concealed. Those were my orders. But, but what if the Englishwoman was the killer? I think it would be in everyone's best interest not to pursue that idea. The Empire views the friendly terms of its relationships with Britain more highly than anything at the moment. An Englishman has been murdered on our soil. To name an English woman as the primary suspect. Well, without irrefutable evidence, that would be completely out of question. So, that's the reason for the disappearance of the phantom woman in this case. But it's not right. One possibility does spring to mind. What do you mean, Kazuma? Yume University is currently hosting a number of exchange students from Great Britain. I'm fairly certain that one of them studying in the medical facilities research lab is a young Englishwoman. What? You're a shrewd man. I can see why you're the chosen candidate for overseas study tour. You mean... When I removed the woman from the scene of the crime, I thought it prudent to check her identity first. Then the court demands that you name the lady in question at once, Inspector. The Englishwoman sitting at the university professor's table was a certain Miss Jis... What? Gis Giselle Brett? Giselle Brett? Mm, Giselle Brett? She is indeed a foreign student studying in the research laboratory of Yume University. A medical facility. What? What's happening here? Uh oh. I admit that under orders from the police bureau, I erased all evidence of this lady's presence at the scene and ordered these witnesses to make no mention of her in their testimonies. It must now be up to Your Excellency to decide how to deal with the situation. We seem we got a bit of a situation. Very well. Thoughts on the matter are as follows. Thus far, the case, present, case presented to the court has been Underpinned by a peculiar, by a peculiar, oh fuck, by peculiar, uh, pecu mm, by a particularly critical premise, namely that the victim was dining alone. However, as we now discover that the premise is false, 
It would seem a dissertation, a dissertation of our justice system is ignore the truth and given a ruling at this point. Objection! But, Your Excellency, it would mean missing the noon deadline of the ruling in order to send a telegraph report to the Great Britain. Our own government will surely be very displeased by such actions. Calm yourself, Counselor. I will not allow the government of our country and any other to influence the proceedings of my courtroom. <sighs> Inspector Hosonoka. Yes, sir. You may locate this Giselle Brett. Giselle Brett. I really hope I'm saying her name right. And escort her to the courtroom with the utmost urgency. At once, Your Excellency. But... But that means you'll be going against the special orders you were given from the police bureau. As I said before, it is my guiding principle to carry out all investigations flawlessly. So, it would so it won't be a problem. <coughs> that man's dying. We should help him. Nothing will get in my way. Court will be adjourned, briefly. The prosecution may call the English student, Giselle Brett, to the witness stand. I'm, I'm going with the, I'm going with the idea that the two L's make the E sound, you know? Like Spanish, but it's probably Jezebel Brett. It's probably just Jezebel, right? Let's just, let's just stick with Jezebel. How about that? Giselle Brett. <laughs> Do I make myself clear? Yes. Yes, you do. Your Excellency. Good. Then we will have a third, a third, a 30 minute recess before reconvening. Jesus, fuck. What did I get myself into? All right. Say progress. Yes, sir. Save my illiteracy. All right, 22nd of November, 11:38 a.m. Supreme Court of Judicature, Defendant Antechamber Five. Excellent work, Ryunosuke. That was quite superb. My heart was in my mouth the entire time. It was almost unbelievable. I mean, looking at you in there. You were drenched in sweat, your eyes popping, your knees knocking, and your dick throbbing. What? <laughs> and you were grinding your- This wasn't the only thing you were grinding. Grinding your teeth. It was a grim sight. But before I knew it, you started finding inconsistencies in the testimonies. I think you might have a natural talent for being a lawyer. Forget it. It's terrifying. If I get through this, I don't ever want to see the inside of a courtroom again. <laughs> Anyways, it looks like you were exposed. Uh, it looks like we've exposed your phantom lady at last. Miss Jezebel. Uh, fuck, Miss. Oh wait, no. Fuck. Why am I trying to call her Jezebel? <laughs> I gotta look at it. So yeah, Giselle. Just Giselle, Brett. I feel like her name is Jezzy Jezzy Brett. Hmm. Let's just call her Giselle. I'll just call her Giselle. Giselle Brett, a student from Great Britain, is she? That's what I was trying to tell everyone from the start. Dr. Wilson wasn't alone. There was a young woman with him, like I've been saying all along. Yes, you have, haven't you? I might not be overly confident in the courtroom, but my powers of observation are one thing that I am sure of. Yes, I can see that. So, about this young gentlewoman. Thanks to our detective friend, she was hastily escorted away from the scene, it seems. Did you see what happened with that? No. 
I didn't see any of it. I was just on my way out the restaurant myself, then on the floor next to Dr. Wilson's table. I noticed there was a gun lying on the floor, just after I bent down and picked it up. I didn't have time to think about where that sound of the gunshot came from. The waiter ran over to me, looking as white as a sheet. And he bundled me in some sort of small pantry next to the kitchen. Fast thinking by the detective, he apprehended his suspect without a moment's delay. Yes, and because I was sh because I was shut in the pantry, I had no idea what happened outside in the dining area. Hmm. There you are. Well done, both of you. Sorry for suspecting you, Mikotoba. My bad. Professor Mikotoba. Well, it seems I was right. The pair of you, uh, the pair of you make an astounding team. You exceeded my expectations, I have to say. Yes, it seems you planned this from the start. You arranged things so that it wouldn't be, so that I wouldn't be able to act as a lawyer in this trial. Our modern country is still in its infancy. Our justice system even more so. Which is why. I firmly believe that we need to send our brightest young stars overseas to learn all they can. I want to avoid a situation that may have resulted in your study tour to Great Britain being cancelled. Well, makes no difference. Lawyer or otherwise, if I'm the kind of man who can't help his best friend avert the worst crisis of his life, I shouldn't waste everyone's time by going to study overseas anyways. What? What are you saying, Cosma? Hmm. So that's your stance. I was afraid you'd feel that way. Cosma. Well then, it looks like it all came down to you, young man. To me? Yes. You need to prove your innocence and uncover what really took place in that restaurant. I must say, I very much want to know the truth. After all, I have a personal connection to this case. Don't say that shit <laughs> when I'm starting to suspect everyone. Don't go, well, I got a personal connection to this, a wink, wink, a nudge, nudge. Come to think of it, he said the same thing earlier this morning, didn't he? If you don't mind me asking, Professor, did you know the victim? Yes, I did. As you're probably aware, Dr. Uh, Dr. John H. Wilson was a visiting professor at UMA. And it was I who invited him. Oh, I see. I didn't know that before. Anyways, you're about to go into battle. The victim was a university professor from Great Britain and a well-known one at that. Naturally, our government is looking to identify and punish the culprit as quickly as possible. But let's not forget who we're going up against. The gentlewoman whose involvement, uh, who involvement our police bureau went to extraordinary lengths to hide. Yeah, she has some type of fucking diplomatic immunity. You know? Yes, and I'm sure the pres I'm sure the prosecution will be used every well, God damn it! I'm sure the prosecution will be using every tool at their disposal to quash your case. But I have no doubt that you pair will put up a good fight, right to the last. Best of luck. Thank you. Someone in my house is like fucking stomping on the floor, or some shit, like making like a knocking sound. And that's probably going to make my dog start barking in, like, fucking five minutes from now. Now then. I need you to run an errand at the university at once. There's something I think we may need. Of course. You're quiet. Oh, there you go. You're speaking now. Good luck, cosmo son. What about me? What? 
Good luck, Cosma. And then she just walks away. What about me? I'm supposed to be the protagonist. I'm supposed to get all the chicks. Court recess is over. Please make your way back inside the courtroom at once. It's time. Let's get back to it, partner. Let's go in there and deal a decisive blow. Why do they let you bring a fucking sword into the courtroom? <laughs> I deal the size of blow before those old fossils know what hits them. Cosma? What? Thank you. Really? What for? Well, if you haven't said you believed in me, then... I'm fairly sure I already have been found guilty by now. Look, I have faith in you. As a lawyer, and as a friend. Coming from you, that means a lot. If I'm found guilty in this trial, he's really going to give up on his dreams of studying abroad. That's the kind of true friend he is. So this isn't just my battle anymore. Whoever we're up against, we absolutely cannot afford to lose. All right then. I'll save the thank yous for after the trial. You can treat me to one of those su su sukayaki? Soup sukai- Mmm, here we go with this shit! <laughs> Sukaya- Sukayaki, right? That's how you say that? Sukayaki meals. I like from UA Cafeteria- UA. UMA Cafeteria on University Street. With an extra large portion, of course. Big boy gotta eat. <laughs> 2nd November 12th uh, 12th? Did I just say that? God 12.09pm Scream court Blah 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 Courtroom 2 Let's go <laughs> The court hereby resumes the trial of Ryanosuke Narohoro Prosecute your algae. Have you managed to uh, sub subpoena, fuck, subpoena the witness? Yes your excellency Against all odds Thanks to a certain young stripling, stripling, strip, yeah, stripling. What the fuck? <laughs> the prosecution is an, uh, is now under rather painful scrutiny from the government. Sorry. Let the government scrutinize. That's their job. It's nothing to worry about. It's highly unlikely that the good relations we forge with Great Britain will emerge from this trial unscathed. Well, you still think it's nothing to worry about when the new treaty breaks down and our nation font of uh, uh, what in our nation's founders? Again, terribly sorry, but I didn't commit the murder and I'm not going down for this shit, so fuck you guys. If the friendship between our nations is really so fragile, then the treaty isn't worth the paper it's written on. You really have nothing to worry about, Ryanosuke. What do you mean? As a secret trial, anxiety over some foreign government's opinion, I, uh, what? A bungled investigation, missing, missing witnesses. Is this what our nation's justice system is? Is this the Supreme Court of Japan or of England? Shut up! You jumped up, rookie boy. You and your friend know nothing. Nothing of the situation our nation finds itself in. By aligning ourselves with the great world power, We'll become strong. Diplomacy has never been more crucial. Steady politics. Uh, God. Steady political maneuver maneuverings. I can't even fucking speak anymore. Is what will is what will secure our futures. I won't deny that I'm no expert. I'm just a student, and one who could arguably study harder too. But standing here now in the Supreme Court. There's one thing that I feel very strongly. A country that fails to uphold the truth of its justice system is a country with no future at all. Well said, Ryunosuke. Despite the wide-eyed look of terror. You little brats. Thank you, Council. This court is, in principle, of our... what? Pinnacle, my bad, is the pinnacle of our nation's justice system and exists solely for the purpose 
or purpose. For the pursu uh, pursu pursuance can't read <laughs> of truth. With that in mind, this trial will now resume with the next witness taking the stand. The visiting student from Great Britain, Miss Giselle Brett. Yes. Your Excellency. I swear, if she comes up looking, up looking like Dahlia, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Oh. You're hiding your face. How lovely. Oh, what a delight it is to welcome such a fine gentlewoman to Japan, and from such a distant land. Can you get off your knees, Ouchie? Tea! Someone bring English tea. In England, no discussion takes place without tea. Is that true? No idea. So, um... <coughs> Could we possibly trouble you to state your name and occupation for the court? Of course. My name is Satoru Hosonoga. I have been working undercover as a head waiter at La Carnival. Yes, yes, we know all about you already. Inspector Sonica! Where's your manners in England? It's always ladies first. Is that true? No idea. More importantly, a little earlier today you said something to me. You said your powers of observation are the one thing you're sure of. Yes, I think I did, didn't I? Yet your description of this amazing sight was simply a woman? Sorry, Ryunosuke, but powers of observation aside, your powers of description are sorely lacking. Guilty. He's like, amazing sight, ma'am. <laughs> He's like, your taste in women? Terrible. Garbage. Trash. Or waifu? Dumpster fire. So, dear lady, once again, if we may trouble you for your name and occupation... Oh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Because we're in Japan and we can't speak the fancy English. Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus. You want to know the worst part about this? First of all, this shit is just not, not, not can't, I can't decipher that shit, but even though my school never taught me how to write in script or how to read it, so they're kind of, that's kind of a problem too, if it was decipherable. Uh, what the fuck? Um, I'm terribly sorry, dear lady, but what? <laughs> Speak. Japanese, you bitch. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to decipher it, but he's gonna decipher it. The lady says her name is Giselle Brett. She comes from London, England. She's a visiting research student currently enrolled in Yume University Medical Facility. Oh my, what a rare treat to hear the, delica uh, the delicate tones of a delightful language of the Britain people. Britain? Of the British people. I'm afraid I don't understand a word you're saying, but it was as beautifully as a hummingbird song. As beautifully? As beautiful. Whatever. As far as I can tell, she's bullshit. <laughs> the detective is translating her words faithfully enough. Yes, I agree. You're obviously do fine in England, Cosma. Her English doesn't rattle you at all, does it? Nor you. You clearly been paying attention in your English classes, Ryunosuke. Wait, so if, so if Ryunosuke and Cosmo can understand it, how come... How, I mean, they did it for effect, right? But they should just write her shit down for us, <laughs> right? We should be able to decipher her language. The court thanks the beautiful lady for taking the stand. Now, if I may trouble you to confirm something, Miss Brett. 
Three days ago, at a restaurant called Le Carnival, a grim murder took place. The court has been led to believe that you were dining there with the victim, Dr. Wilson, at the time. Is that correct? She says, yes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this could take some time. So, even though she studies here in Japan, she can't speak Japanese? She'd like to apologize for disappearing from the scene. She says that she wanted that she was due to make a presentation at the university, so she had to leave immediately. Interesting. And you're the one who engineered her escape, exactly, right? I was just following special orders from the Bureau. Well now, dear lady, would you be so kind as to cast your eyes over this photographic print? Seeing as you were so unfortunately present at the scene of the crime, could it be that you're... Uh, res oh God, that you're res repleasant? Res res resplendent? What? Resplendent? Hmm. Resplendent. Is that really a word? Okay, whatever. You see that your eyes caught sight of the wicked perpetrator, perhaps? Oh, me, oh, my. I believe the perpetrator is standing right over there. Apparently, it was a very frightening sorrowful sight. Do you mean to say? Yes. I would appear, it would appear that the lady did witness the crime. The very moment when the accused standing right there in his courtroom <laughs> shot the victim in cold blood. Order. Order in the court. Did you hear that, Your Excellency? Here we have an absolutely, absolutely conclusive witness statement. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's clear now. She did it. Clear who our real enemy is. Unfortunately, I will have to ask you to formally testify, if you please. Kindly tell the court the exact nature of this frightening and sorrowful sight you described. Let's see what you got. Frightening, sorrowful sight. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I had arranged the meeting for a slightly late lunch with Dr. Wilson that, uh, that day. The professor was unable to eat, so I ordered for myself only a beef steak. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. After a while, the accused came over to greet the professor, and they got into a fierce argument. Oh, you bitch! Then, no long after, the accused look oh god, that was loud. The accused looked <laughs> took the professor's gun and shot him right before my eyes. I don't carry a gun myself, so obviously I wouldn't have been the culprit. And then a son and a detestable yes. man showed up with a gun and took it and started shooting all up the place. Oh, dear. No, I didn't have any kind of argument with the professor at all. Quiet, you filthy wretch. I'm gonna hop over this table and beat the shit out of you. Look at you, you black-hearted black... Oh, wait, what? You black-hearted back guard. What? Oh, black. I did read it the first. <laughs> I didn't read it right the first time. Black hearted black guard. What the fuck? And look at this snow white angel. That is some real. <laughs> that is some real colorful tone you took there. I'm sure even a dark minded scoundrel like you can imagine who, whose words the court is going to believe. You're still making the same mistakes, Ryanosuke. You mustn't blurt out. Cosma, after I beat his ass, I'm going to beat your ass because you, you keep contradicting yourself. But he's so annoying. Of course, I was at the scene as well. 
I took statements from the lady and the two witnesses who testified before and reported back to the Bureau. It was decided that Miss Brett was not involved, so let her go. Testimonies of the last two witnesses were completely worthless, however. Well, <sighs> fucking. So when he blurts out, he doesn't get hit with, with the book, but when I blurt out, all right, whatever. Only the day in question, the lady was wearing the same outfit as she is today. Okay. As you can see, there's nowhere, there's nowhere about her person where she could conceal a firearm. Are you sure? Did you check the trunk? What's she gonna do with all that junk? All that junk up in that trunk? <laughs> I would think she could hide a gun almost anywhere in that outfit if she wanted to. Unless and until the precise location where the witness is to have hidden a weapon can be shown, this is moot. Alright, there's no pockets in my outfit. I have nowhere to hide a gun. You got a giant ass swan on your head. You got a bunch of tail, a tear, a tear, a bunch of tail feathers. I can't fucking speak. And you can hide, you can hide it where all women hide their things. Right within the bosom. Okay, those are the witnesses' words on the matter. Ugh, it's not ridiculous. Well, I can allow her to lift her- What? If only I was allowed to lift up her dress, I could prove- <laughs> He's not wrong, but... Don't think about doing anything rash, Ryanosuke. But I didn't fire the gun I picked up. There must have been another gun there that day. You're right about that, which means this lady was hiding a gun somewhere. Yes, that's what we were. That's what we have to prove now. And to do so, we need to pull her testimony apart. You bitch! The defense may now cross-examine the witness. Oh yes, your excellency. I'll fucking cross-examine. God damn it. All right, let's see. Her arrangement slightly at lunch that day. Okay, the professor was unable to eat, so I ordered for myself only a beefsteak. After a while, the accused came over to greet the professor and they got into a fierce argument. What was the argument about? Yes. Since it was so fierce. I never got into an argument with the professor. All I did when I, uh, all I did when I noticed him was go over and say hello. Please do not get angry with me. No, no, I wasn't directing that resort at you. It was meant for the lady next to you. But anyways, as I said, I did not argue with the professor. I'm afraid your words are in vain. Sorry. Miss Red does not appear to speak Japanese. The fucking translate! No, of course not. Japanese is such a cumbersome language anyways. I'm gonna kick your ass. English is the future! We must all... Sipiku Irashi. Sipiku Irashi. Igarashi. I wonder if the prosecution will feel that way, however, and how oh, uh, feel that way, however, feel that way forever, or only in the presence of the beautiful woman. Well, that beautiful woman is telling blatant lies with a complete straight face. I have to find something that will unravel her testimony, no matter how seemingly insignificant it may be. Uh huh. Anyways, it seems that after the argument, the accused briefly returned to his own seat. That part, uh, that part ties in with what you said, doesn't it? Yes. I had said some. <clears throat> I had had some coffee to drink. And the next time you got up after that was when I finished my coffee and stood up to leave. Bitch. <laughs> Absolute bitch. All right. Hmm. Not long afterwards, the accused took the professor's gun and shot him right before my eyes. There was no sign of a struggle, right? Can I? I would like to check the evidence again. Post mortem. Uh, was caused by loss of blood, gunshot to the chest, bullet did not pass through the victim's body. Did not pass through the victim's body, so it is lodged up in there. Uh, let's see. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary here, right? 
And nothing really out of the ordinary here, I think. The bullet wound's right there. Uh, didn't go through. Well, I mean, there is something out of the ordinary. If she's the one who ordered the food, why is he sitting there? Where the food is placed. Oh. I wonder... Well, listen. Uh, Cosmo said to pick her statement apart, but I wonder if I really need to do that? Is there, like, a piece of evidence I need to pull out of that? Right? So, I'm just gonna just try and, just try and hit her with this already. Yes! Statement contradicts facts demonstrated by this evidence. Kinda does. As far as I can tell, there's nothing untowards about this evidence. It, it kind of is... All right, so <laughs> we're not doing it my way. We're doing it the Phoenix Wright way. My bad, we're doing it the Ace Attorney way, the Ryunosuke way, where that's the obvious answer right there, but we gotta go through a bunch of other bullshit to get there. All right. So I ordered myself a beef steak. I'm gonna press that. He was unable to eat, you say. And that's because he just had a tooth removed at the Hata Clinic, right? That's right. Hmm. You're supposed to actually check with the witness before answering. Was Miss Brett aware of that fact? She's gonna say no. It seems so, yes. She heard that the professor was to have some... Excuse me, holy shit. I didn't even eat anything and I'm bourbon. Uh, have some dental treatment. So that would mean... Okay. First of all, if you knew he was gonna have dental treatment, why the hell would you... Uh... Why, like, why would you put a meeting for that time, right? Um, you know, unless he agreed to it, I guess, that also makes sense, where he's like, yeah, don't worry, I'm not gonna eat. <sighs> that it was you who ate the steak pictured here. Is that right, Miss Brett? That's right, yes. The print you have there shows the table exactly as it was left after the horrific events. Exactly as it was left. Dear me, what a harrowing experience. To have traveled to a distant island on the far side of the world and be embroiled, embroiled, be embroiled in such a tragic incident. I have no fear, my lady. I swear I will crush the evil fiend that has subjected you to this terrible blight. So the victim, Dr. Wilson, had nothing to eat or drink at all. That's right, other than some carbonated water. It's not even supposed to have carbonated water. Just water? Yes. The professor was unable to eat, but he had been given permission to drink water. To drink water, not carbonated water. So it appears that the diners toast their lunch with a glass of water. Hmm. They each raised a glass of carbonated water. What did you think, Rinosuke? About the witness's last statement. It's meaningful. That last statement of yours, Miss Brett, has a profound bearings on this case. Well, well. How, fa how fascinating. Do tell us what is this profound bearing. Come on. The significance of the statement will become apparent when the time is right. The defense calls for the witness last statement to be formally added to the testimony. Hmm. We'll sidestep, counsel. Very well, Miss Brett. Kindly repeat what you just said to add to your official testimony. Gladly, she said. That was brilliant, Kazuma. I'm gonna remember that one. Which one? The significance will become apparent when the time is right. I could really use that phrase. I'd hope there are some more useful tips you're packing up. <laughs> you're picking up from this experience. Don't worry, I got this. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Alright, over carbonated water. Well, well then. We have something here for you. Oh wait, not, not that one. We have something here for you. From eating or drinking anything but water. Yes! 
Well, about that last statement made by the way. Okay, really? We're not gonna count that? Alright, cool. Alright, guess I'm just pulling apart her fucking testimony then. Exactly. Preferably reasonable every way. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'll take the hit. I'll take it. I'll take it. Even though I know I'm right. I'll take it. Do I need to do a double? I wonder if I need to do like a double press, like that one time in like the first game, where it's like you have to press this one and then press the other one right after it. All right, arrange meeting. Mhm. Mm Cheers over glass. After a while, the accused came over to greet. Yes, I I did that one. No longer afterwards, accused took the professor's gun and shot him right before my eyes. Did I? I pressed that one, right? I don't carry guns myself, so obviously I wouldn't have. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna press it all, yes! right? No harm in doing that. When in doubt, press. Like I said, I did not shoot that gun. And like I said, there's no point in repeating the assertion over and over. Well, I wasn't expecting to be attacked by my own side. Nevertheless, defendant, you can deny. That when the shot, you can't deny that when the shot rang down in the restaurant, you had the gun in your hand. Well, yes, that's, that's true. But, but all I did was pick up the gun I saw on the floor next to the, per, next to the professor as I was leaving the restaurant. In fact, yes. There was someone much closer to the victim than me at that time. Attention! That will do, you dirty rotten, you dirty rotten scoundrel. Dirty. Your, your baseless accusations could very well cause an international incident, boy. Boy! It seems to me that your accusation is just as baseless as ours. What nonsense. The lady is merely stating what she saw. And this is, a, this is already an international incident, as far as I'm concerned, anyways. Okay. Don't carry guns myself. Oh me oh my, I don't carry guns myself. I do declare. Yes! After 2 p.m., in fact, that's real quite late for lunch, isn't it? You don't keep up with the latest fashions from Britain, do you? Late lunch, late luncheons, luncheons? Are, are in vogue. What? Shut the fuck up. Isn't that right? No. <laughs> she said, fuck no. What? Hmm. A decisive English no has quite a sting to it. It's just straight into the point. No. Fucking no. The gentlewoman is, is currently working in the victim's research laboratory, it seems. So it was, appar it was apparently a daily occurrence that they would have lunch together. Okay. Sorry, I, I paused for a moment because I started thinking a bit. <laughs> I started thinking of... I haven't really had like a... Like an actual theory in mind yet. Besides the fact that she definitely killed that dude. Um, but I'm just trying to play the scene in my head. I mean, obviously, we can say like as... You know, as he was bending over to pick up the guy. And she got up and shot the guy and fucking... And left or whatever. Right. You know, and all that shit. It's pretty easy to say that. But I'm trying to... I'm trying to, the, the thing that I'm trying to do in my mind right now is I'm trying to position why the fuck the, uh, why, uh, what's his name would be on the side of the stake, right? Side of the table with the stake, Mr. Wilson, Dr. Wilson, whatever the fuck. Like, what, what could that have done? That, not only that, but his chair was completely facing away from the table. I understand, like, a slight turn to turn around and talk to someone, but, like, no one picks up their fucking chair and turns a whole 180 to just fucking, like, <laughs> you know, to say hi to someone. Especially in a restaurant. You kind of just look over your shoulder, right? But on the day in question, the victim had another appointment at the clinic first. Yes, which we can prove with the medical report card. That's right. Miss Brighton, the victim, went to lunch following the victim's treatment. Yawn, which is why it's so late. <laughs> I have to explain when I yawn. Yes, it all makes perfect sense to me. 
Such wonderful logic. Oh, logic? <laughs> Such wonderful logic. What a shining example of English intelligence. The fine gentlewoman is. So you both arrive at the restaurant. What happened next? Okay. Well, there's only one more statement to press, which is the last one. Oh, I don't carry guns by myself. Yes. It's all very well said that... But can you prove it? Absolutely. I verified it personally. You? Verified it. Yes. Immediately after the incident, I checked to make sure the lady was not carrying a weapon. You know, that's kind of... I'm not gonna say... I'm not gonna say, like... I'm not gonna say, like, it's not possible that he checked her. But given the circumstances and how uptight they're being about... About, uh, you know, the English woman, right? And the whole treaty and stuff like that. I would assume that they would wait for a, uh... Well, I mean, A, they covered it up, but B, I, I assume if, if she was going to be checked, they would wait for another female to do it. Alright, yes, immediately after the incident, I checked to make sure the lady was not carrying a weapon. I distinctly remember her saying, I'm not. That, that's all you did? You just axed her. Okay, so he didn't, he didn't physically check. Surely you carried out a physical search, Inspector. No. Okay, alright, there we go. Cause, Cause him going like, I searched her, I'm like, that don't sound right. <laughs> Why on earth not? The honorable, uh, the honorable English gentleman, I mean gentleman, yeah, gentlewoman, no, fuck. <laughs> the honorable English gentlewoman clearly stated that she did not possess a weapon. There was no, there was obviously no need for any further probing into the matter. Or, there was no permission given for any further probing into the matter, perhaps. Think what you will. But but if you're going to continue with this preposterous claim that the refrained, refrained, refined lady was concealing a firearm, the prosecution demands that you support your assertion with facts. In other words, he wants evidence. The lady wishes to point out that, of course, she wanted to stay and assist with the investigation, but she was in a hurry to leave uh, to give a presentation at the university, so she was compelled to leave. Not to mention the fact that your office had, to had told you to get the woman out of there. Not get her out of there, I just urged her to leave. The lady would like to point out that she is in no way meant to run away from the scene of the crime, so... She had a presentation. Can we have someone go over there and go, Hey man, did you, uh, did she give a presentation? Wait, by the way, wait, hold up. Mm. Speaking of that, she gave away a presentation. Gave away, why did I say gave away? Why am I saying that? She gave a presentation. Yet, she does not speak Japanese. And as far as we know, the only English-speaking teacher at the university is the one that was dead. So who are you giving a presentation to? Which is why she's not only too happy. Uh, which is why she is only well, fuck. Which is why she is only too happy to cooperate and testify here in court today. Of course, unlike a certain student who refuses to admit when game is up. Suck like my dick, Algie. You could at least have the courtesy to pay attention when I'm courting you. Groating. So she's, a so she's maintaining that you got into an argument with the professor, at the end of which you shot him. Which is an out, which is an out and out totally unfounded lie. Still, her statement is very compelling. After all, she is an elegant, refined, young, and beautiful gentlewoman from Great Britain. In stark contrast to you, dressed from head to toe in a dull black school uniform. There's a part of me that's kind of like having that little itch in the back of my mind that's like, do we gotta, do we gotta keep pointing it out like that? <laughs> right? It's like, she's such a refined and pristine white woman and you in your black uniform. And I'm like, come on guys, what are we doing? I get it. I get it. Let's calm down a bit. I'm dressed exactly the same way as you are, except for the f flapping red ribbons. Do we both have the same armband? 
Probably not, because he's an official lawyer, right? Well, anyways, it's our only chance to expose her testimony, as, as the fiction that is. If we can do that, the trial's over. If we can't do that, the trial's over. Even you with your thick skin must be able to feel the murderous looks you're getting from around the room. Oh yeah, definitely. Only too well. I feel half dead already. And the fact that I can't see a single inconsistency with her testimony isn't making me feel any better. I've pointed out cons inconsistencies. They just won't let me do it. First thing to do is press her on any of her statements. Uh, yeah. Did that already. Do that and open... Oh god. An opening will present itself, I promise you. And to expose the truth... Uh, yeah. Should be aiming for this cross-examination. Alright, well, we have our statement. Which is the carbonated water. Right? I use the medical... Uh, whatchamacallit? I use the medical records for that. It did not work. Uh, let's see if we can just check the evidence again. Uh, gunshot, chest, vitamin, blah, 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 blah. photographic print shows that the victim was shot from the front of the chest. Uh, doesn't seem like there's any water in the glass, honestly, in my opinion. Let me actually check this. Oh no, there's water in there. Okay, cool. But, oh. Oh, that's interesting. You know what? I was so focused on this photo... First of all, I used this photo at the wrong location, right? Second of all, I was focused on the fat on where the uh, plate was, right? Compared to where the body ended up being. But she said they both had a drink of water. Then why is there only one glass? Why is there only one glass? Why are you lying? <laughs> Alright, uh, bottle of carbonated water, steak lunch can be seen, and then this. I guess it doesn't matter which picture I use, but I'm gonna use this one just to be safe. Yes! So, uh... <laughs> I love how he looks at the camera, he's like, yeah. Let me just confirm something, please. It's to do with this photograph. Look at his photograph! Just a short while ago, you spoke of this print showing the victim's table at the scene of the crime. That it was exactly as it was left. Yeah, that's correct. That is correct. Thank you. That's what the lady says. You heard it. Came out her mouth. He translated. Well, this is, uh, is very odd. Very odd indeed. Dear me. What's odd if the defendant's inability to express himself? Go fuck yourself. Vinosuke, what's it, uh, what is it about the print that looks odd to you? Well, obviously. It is, uh, it's the cheers. The cheers? Miss Brett just told us that she and the professor said cheers over a glass of water. Now, now, if that's true, I want you to look at this photograph, but if that's true, there should be two glasses on the table. Not one. Oh. Oh. You're quite right, Council. There's only one glass pictured here. Objection! Are we supposed to be impressed by this nitpicking over minute? Go fuck yourself. What possible difference does the presence of the absence of the glass makes on this case? Objection! Minute, you say? Could it be that the detective here removed a glass from the table to conceal the lady's presence? Of course not. Now here's the fun part about that. If... If... Here's the fun part about that. If there were two glasses, and you tuck that picture, you can still say, Well, yeah, of course there's two glasses. They had cheers. But then again, if she was the only one that ate, why is he on the side where the steak is? Makes no sense. Of course not. I would never do something so reckless. But there should have been two glasses on the table. Or are you gonna try and tell me you can clink with only one glass? You're quite right. 
I certainly took two glasses to the table. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm waiting for the lie. I'm waiting for the big lie. Inspector, what did the lady say? It would seem that it was Miss Brett who took the glass from the table. What? It was also terrifying, everything that happened. I panicked and thought I should try to hide the fact that I've been there at all, she says. Isn't that direct contradictory to what you said earlier? Where you said, I want to be very helpful. But I had a presentation. So I took away evidence. To hide the fact that I was there. I also denied a search at the time. Well, she didn't deny the search. I'm pretty sure the government said, don't do it. Good gracious. Sorry. Excuse me? You know, this is the this is some times where I where I do kind of wish I had face cam a little bit cuz I had a moment <laughs> I had to look around for a bit. Kind of find where my sanity went. There, as I assure the court before, this is no consequence at all. Oh, please. You must remember that this student had just murdered this lady's luncheon. Is that a fucking word? Luncheon companion. Before her very eyes. Who could blame her for concealing a glass or two in her state of disarray? That's absurd! Oh, really? So, do we take it that you are now going to accuse the vulnerable, young, and beautiful woman of mischief? What? No, 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 no. This can't be... This can't... This can't be put down to mischief. I'd like to know. Exactly how the lady took the glass from the scene. You know, it would be filled with... Oh, damn, she didn't have any pockets or a purse on her. So what she do, just fucking run out with the glass? Yeah? Uh-huh. It seems that she slipped into a small handbag- Ah, uh, there we go. A handbag, you say? Yes, Your Excellency. A small handheld pouch commonly carried by well-to-do women in English. So, the beautiful lady has very graciously explained how and why she removed the glass from the scene of the crime. Also explained where the gun came from. However, the fact remains that this glass has absolutely no bearing on this case. Oh, it does now. The student has been trying to confuse the court with logical reasoning, but in the end, it comes to nothing. Did he just say I try to confuse you with logic? What? <laughs> you try to confuse me by being logical. I don't think that's how that works, buddy. I think I was convincing you. And you're keeping lying. Alright. No more pretentious accusations. Accusate. Why did I say it like that? Accusations. You have wasted enough time already. Indeed. The lady has offered a satisfactory explanation as to why she removed the glass. I think henceforth we can consider the matter to have no bearing on the case. But it does. Counsel for the defense? Are you in agreement? Fuck no! Well, I don't know, really. If you want to pursue the matter further, you're gonna need to show that you have some deeper significance. That it has some deeper significance, whatever. Yes, you're right. So, she took the glass away in her handbag. If there's a deeper significance there. Uh, it's the handbag. Wait! The lady put the glass in her handbag, you say? Yes. Do, do try to keep up. It's already been explained to the court that all English gent uh, gentlewomen carry handbags for small items. Let me see. A little while ago, Miss Brett stated the following. There are no pockets in my outfit. I have nowhere to hide a gun. But what she forgot to mention was her handbag. In which it would be perfectly possible to conceal a gun. You're right. Well done, partner. I had a feeling you'd pick up on that too. 
What are you insinuating, you vile blackguard? I really don't like that you're calling me that. <laughs> you're kind of really hounded in on, on, the, on the color aspect of that insult. <laughs> like a lot. It's very simple. The gunshot was heard when the defendant picked up the gun from the restaurant floor. As he didn't fire the gun, we can deduce that there must have been another firearm at the scene. The true murder weapon, if you will. And I will, of course. You can't seriously be suggesting. Oh, but I am. Especially Hosonoka. Yes. Did you, or did you not, search Miss Jezebel Brett's handbag on the day of the murder? No, sir. I did not. Of course you didn't. As I thought. So in other words, another gun, the one that was actually used to kill the professor, could have been hidden in Miss Brett's handbag. Oh, you better believe it, bastards. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. What's the meaning of this, Inspector? Sabotage. That's what I'm putting it up to. The meaning of what, Prosecutor Algie? What on earth did you not? Why on earth did you not have the lady open her handbag and show you the content, the contents at the time? Thanks to your blundering incompetence, now she has to endure this uncomfortable accusation. Brilliant work, partner. Of course, brilliant. Now we have a chance to expose the real woman behind the mask. Do you think so, Cosma? She's a man-eater. Oh, that man's dying. Well, what a sorry situation. Clearly, you have no faith in the police. Do you really want me to answer that question? <laughs> As I said, I did not search the lady's handbag after the shooting. Simply because... It was unnecessary. Oh. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Unnecessary in what way? I thought I ought to thank the student lawyer, really. Oh shit, he's about to activate his final form. I have a piece of evidence here that I had completely forgotten about. That's bullshit. <laughs> this photograph print. Look at this photograph. Oh, fuck, it's a see-through purse. Oh, you fucked me. Uh, by the way, she has a tattoo or a birthmark. What is that? The print of the photograph that I thought would be prudent to take immediately after the shooting. As you can see, it clearly shows Miss Brett's hand. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Whoa. My, my bad. I said she had a birthmark or a tattoo. That's not her hand. That's the fucking, uh, what's his name? Dr. Wilson. As you can see, Cody shows him his breast handbag. Well, I never. You can see right through it! That's right. Apparently, meshwork bags like these are the height of fashion in London at the moment. It's a stupid fucking fashion. It's like, oh my god, I wonder where your wallet is. Right there. Hmm, so the contents are clearly visible. Exactly. So there's no need to search the lady's handbag. If there had been a gun inside, it would have been immediately um immediately off ugh fuck I can't read. Immediately obvious. As you can see, there's nothing to imply there's nothing to imply Miss Brett's guilt here. Thank you for helping prove that, Narohoro san. Oh, you guys are assholes. You guys are pieces of shit. <laughs> you fucking assholes. Cosmo, help me out here, damn it. Inspector Hosonaga, you will submit the print as evidence at once. Certainly, Your Excellency. Alright, photograph taken by Hosonaga, some. After the incident occurred, it shows Miss Brett handbag by a chair by the victim's table. Hmm. So, I'm still a little confused by that, though. I think you had long enough to cross-examine the witness. Hold up, before you say anything, I just wanna, just wanna 
Gotta look at that. So. What's that? What's that little speck there? Uh -huh. Yes, I see. Mm, yes, indubitably. So, here's the thing that confuses me on this, right? Why? How and why? So... I'm, I'm so fucking confused right now, because this makes no sense to me. Alright. She ordered the food. The food's here. He's not able to eat. And he's facing away from the table. We got that, right? And then here's after the scene. Not only that it's still facing away, it'll... Oh, holy shit, what? Wait a minute. But why? But why? This, this doesn't make any sense. His hand was resting here. I, I sorry, I just hit my mic. I'm like my 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 whole theory shattered. <laughs> Because I was, because here's the thing, I was looking at this, I'm like, he can't eat the food, he's facing the other way, then we have this, the food's still here, and then we have the picture of the handbag. Now here's the thing, the positioning of these chairs, I was looking at that, also, uh, you look at the position of those chairs mixed with the map that he gave us, right? He was sitting here. So that would assume that all chairs were facing, you know, towards the table, right? But he's facing away from the table. And in the other picture... It's facing this way. But then after that, you have fucking this photo where the chair is facing outward. Why? <laughs> Why? Why is that? And now we have the fucking Tauros demon has sunken its way into his hand, his wrist. Huh. Then you had enough cross-examination. Okay. Okay. The court has now been shown considerable evidence. As the photographic print is submitted into the court, the uh, record appears to have no further significance. As I'm satisfied that there's no, lo uh, no longer any room for doubt in this matter, I must take my ruling. Indeed. And there is only one logical conclusion. That the pathetic rookie slumped over the bench before us is the only possible perpetrator of this crime. Go fuck yourselves. No. Just when I thought I was beginning to turn things around. I'm in the worst situation than I was at the start. Kazuma. You're defeated too? I'm sorry, Ryanosuke. What? Now that the cross-examination of the witness is over, there's no way to force the trial to continue. What? You mean this is it? I must say, you put up quite a fight for a rookie student, but the weak are meat. Wait, what? But the weak are meat, while the strong eat. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we were wasting your time. You were wasting your time. There's no way to defeat true justice. A fact you can chew on to your heart's content from the inside of your cell. This cannot be happening. Am I really going to be found guilty for a crime that I didn't commit? And Kazuma. His dreams of going to study in Great Britain will slip through his fingers. Kazuma. What? Is there really... Is there really no chance now of turning this trial around? You heard the judge. There's nothing about the last photograph the detective produced that we can content. Contest, my bad. Which means there's no basis on which we can argue... For the trial to continue. Very well. I will now proceed immediately to the ruling. It seems we have been able to report the British government on time after all. That smug little... Rinosuke Narahodo. Having considered all the evidence placed before me, I hereby find... I object. Damn it.
Wait, Your Excellency. Ryanosuke. I don't think you can rule out, you can rule on this case yet. This amateurish is getting to, this amateurishness is getting tedious. When His Excellency, uh, when His Excellency deems that the trial is over, he gives his ruling. That is the most basic protocol of the court. Yes. Yeah, but how the fuck can you call it without even saying like, listen, last chance. Your Excellency, just a moment ago, you said this. As the photographic print just submitted appears to have no further significance, there's no longer any room for doubt in this matter, and I must make my ruling. Now that means if there was a problem with the evidence, some significant detail, I mean, then ruling on this case at this time would be out of the question. Attention! This is blatantly straw clutching. Look at the photographic print. All it shows is the handbag and the gentlewoman was carrying on the day of the question. There's, there can be no problem with the evidence. Oh yeah, but I found one already, bitch. You better know what you're doing, Ryunosuke. Our asses are on the line. I understand your, ob your objection, counsel. Certainly, the new evidence submitted by the detective has not undergo the court's scrutiny. However, I fail to see how we can glean any new information from this hand, from the handbag. Yes, my thoughts exactly. Really, prosecution is becoming tired of this rookie's dis despite, uh, god, desperate wheezes. Yes, I'm desperate, but this isn't a wheeze. I'm not, Weezer. There's something about this photograph which just doesn't seem right. If only I can put my finger on it. Or should I say, my wrist. Very well. I will grant the defense one final opportunity. What? But be warned that if I am unsatisfied by your by your response, here the trial will be over immediate effect. Do I make myself clear? I will hop over this table and fucking mallet your ass. <laughs> Let me just just in case we get a one and done, right? Just in case we get a one and done. Let me just make sure. Gotta make sure. Yes, Your Excellency. So, take another look at the photographic print inspector Hazoka submitted before. Will you identify the courtroom where in this print you see the significant detail to which you have alluded? Yes, I will. Eh, make it very accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wrong button. Yes. Yeah. Check that shit out. Look at this. It's a very unusual mark on the victim's wrist. That is true. It looks almost like a burn of some description. Attention! Dear me, I was pondering what new piffle you would come up with. A burn, you say, on the victim's wrist. Clearly, that has nothing whatsoever to do with the, ma with the magnificent lady's handbag. I'm not talking about the damn handbag no more. Yes, this is a burn mark. Go on, Inspector. The police coroner also noticed <coughs> also noticed that when he was performing the post mortem examination. It was deemed unrelated to the case of death the case the cause of death, so he didn't note it in his report. Go fuck yourself, you're supposed to note that now. You guys covered it. What did I tell you? In any case, we have no idea what the victim suffered this burn uh, uh, when the victim suffered this burn, do we? And no possible way of knowing either. Listen, I look at the blood, and the blood tells me the truth, okay? And that's what I'm looking at right now. I'm following the blood. The more I look at it, the more I find myself intrigued by this curious shape on, of this mark. However, as Prosecutor Aochi uh, Aochi put, points out, unless a firm connection to the case can be shown, I cannot allow any further time to be spent on the precise detail of this burn. What? What? What you gotta say? Excuse me, Your Excellency. It would seem as Brett has a lunch appointment with the Dean of another university, so she can kill him? She would like to go- she would like to know if she may be excused from the stand now. Fuck no, you stay here! Oh, of course, dear lady. 
we shan't hold you up any longer. I'm quite sure His Excellency is about to give his final ruling anyways. What are you thinking on this, Ryanosuke? Do you believe the burn does have something to do with the case? To be honest, I'm not really sure. But I don't. if I don't keep pushing, then it's all over. And I'm not being someone's bitch boy in jail, so... It's the only hope I got. So I was thinking I could keep digging and digging, in the hopes that I might uncover something useful. Yes, you're right. I am? If we can just link the burn to the case... If we can do that, we might be able to praise... Uh, praise? Might be able to praise the shutting door back... Praise? Prize? Hmm. <laughs> praise the shutting door back open again. I don't think that's the word you use. Just give up, Council. Can't possibly hope to do that. Oh, but I will. Indeed, I'm afraid that without evidence, I can allow you to pursue what a little more than conjecture. But if we had evidence, evidence that's irrefutably linked the burn on the victim's wrist to the case, then would you allow it? I would, yes. To tell the truth, I hadn't noticed the burn. But as soon as you pointed it out, what I did notice was the color draining from Miss Brett's face. Really? I have to find some link between the burn and the case. This is the moment of truth. It's time to find some evidence that proves what the burn really means. So then, the defense will now present the evidence to the court. The evidence that demonstrates an an excru an excru oh, fuck. excruciatable is that the word excru <sighs> that's not the word extra extra capable I don't fucking know we're looking for a connection oh yeah looking for a connection well then well then fucking uh I'm gonna examine it well then connect this oh I can't okay cool well then connect yes! this. What's this, Council? Yet another print. Yes, Your Excellency. I believe photographic prints are an amazing invention. When we humans look at a scene, we miss things. But in a photograph, things we may have overlooked at the time are recorded forevermore. Do hurry up, rookie. What are you trying to say? To inconvenience this poor lady any further would really be quite inexcusable. Now what the fuck are you gonna do about it? Actually, we may need you to stay with us a little longer if you don't mind, Miss Brett. You see, it's very clearly visible in the other photograph. How did the victim come to have that unusual shape burn on his wrist? The reason is recorded here forevermore. What? How? Objection! You can't fool me with your little bluffs, boy. If that's your game, then let's see how it plays out. Show the court exactly what you mean. And then I whip out my penis. <laughs> he got a burn from D's nut. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I'll show it. I'll show it. And I'll wear it loud and I'll wear it proud. Check this shit. Yes. The beefsteak? I'm not looking at the beefsteak. Actually, the point is the metal plate the beefsteak was served on. The plate. Oh, shit. Your Excellency, are you alright? As you can see, this looks really delicious. <laughs> There's an emblem on the plate. I would guess it's some sort of trademark of La Carnaval. This emblem on the plate. And the victim's burn. Are exactly the same shape. Ryanosuke, you genius. You're spot on. Which means, the victim must have su suffered this burn while he was present at the restaurant. But, 
But even if that's the case, we can't know if it happened on the day in question or not. What the fuck? Are you serious? It could have been the day before. The day before that. Most likely happened at some other unrelated time. Well, hmm. Objection! Thanks for saving my ass, Cosma. Sadly, Prosecutor Alchi, the chances of that are extremely slim. Thanks. Why? The outline of the burn is clearly discernible. Such a serious entry would have caused quite a commotion in the restaurant. True. Wouldn't you agree, Inspector Hosonoka? I can't imagine having missed such a terrible disaster, certainly. But, but... I would say, looking at the picture of the wound, that it was suffered very long ago... That it, that it was suffered... What? Oh, that it wasn't suffered. Oh, my bad. That it wasn't suffered very long ago. And although it's not a peculiarly large burn, it's extremely well-defined, as the defense just pointed out. Because if you gave it some time to heal, it would have scarred up, bloated, you know, all that other bullshit. That's fresh. This was no mild burn, that's for sure. It was intense. Like being branded. Can you be more specific, Inspector? Well, let's see. If the plate was at around 90 degrees, uh... Centigrade? What? Centigrade? Okay. A burn like that would have taken around three seconds. It's inconceivable that the victim wouldn't have let out a scream of pain then. I've been investigating. I've been investigating at the restaurant for several weeks already, but I've not heard anyone scream at all. As the head waiter of Le Carnival, I can testify to only without hesitation. But you, you're a detective. Not a waiter. Yes. There you have it. Something isn't right here. Brain moment. So, I. So here's the thing. They're right. There's. There's no way that the dude can get a burn on his wrist and not let out some type of scream or something like that, right? So chances are that they branded his they branded his fucking wrist after he was dead. I don't know why, but here's the thing. If that was because of a prior investigation that the detective was looking into, as he said earlier, he didn't give us any information from that, but maybe we're looking at some sort of serial killer case that happens at a restaurant where they leave a uh, branding on the victims, right? And then they find the lady, they find out she's an English woman, diplomatic immunity, and all that other good shit. So they're gonna have to seal this one up. As the detective said, anyone who's burnt themselves on a piping hot plate for three whole seconds would scream in pain. There's no question of that. And yet Inspector Hosonika never heard the professor scream, not on not on the day, or any before it. That's right. And the strange thing is, on the day he was shot, I didn't hear him cry out either. What are you suggesting? Well, if the professor had carelessly laid his wrist on the plate for anything like three seconds that day, that would be beyond careless, I think, counsel. Then the rest of us at the restaurant, myself, the sergeant, the old acquaintance, uh, acquaintance anti antiques dealer, all of us would have without any question heard a scream. Wouldn't you agree, Prosecutor Algy? Well, yes, I suppose. So the question is, why didn't a single person hear Dr. Wilson scream? I almost didn't believe it. Ryanosuke, do you think... He was already dead. Can it really be true? I never dreamed we'd arrive at a conclusion like this, but... I'm starting to think that maybe... We've been led into a terrible trap. There's only one explanation I can think of to make this... to make sense of this apparent impossibility. 
On the day in question, when he suffered the burn to his wrist, Dr. Wilson... Oh shit, totally forgot. Also the, uh, the doctor's appointment too. But it might, he could have been, no, even if he was asleep, that would have been enough to wake him up, right? So he was already dead. No man can remain silent while his wrist was burning on a piping hot plate for three whole seconds. That's certainly impossible, apart from the one peculiar situation. Counsel, are you suggesting? Stick with my gut on this one. Yep, it's only possible. If the man was already dead. Now, here's the thing, right? Said he died of blood loss from the wound. At the, si at the scene of the crime, it didn't seem like there was any blood anywhere, even if you look at the photo, right? Um, can I pull that up? Even if you look at the photo, I see no blood. We see residue of the gunpowder, right? Because he was shot at close range. But that had to have taken some time, which is weird because now, now I need to know how long it was how long it took for Ryanosuke to finish his coffee because he went over, said hi, the man reacted to him and went, hey there. And then he went back to his seat, had his coffee, and then he was on his way out the door. How long was that though? Right? The, there's no way the man could have been dead while, uh, while, whatchamacallit, while Ryanosuke was going over to say hi to him. Right? Yes, it's only possible if the man was already dead. Already dead? Knowing what we know now is the only possible explanation. When the beefsteak was brought to Dr. Wilson's table that day, the professor was already dead. So, that's... That's one theory that I, that I didn't even want to talk about. Because I'm like... Rinosuke went and said hi to him. How do you say hi to a dead man? How does a dead man react to that? It makes no sense. Right? Unless, I don't know, I, I want to see that flashback again, because maybe he didn't have the food in front of him when he, uh, when he died. Right? I mean, before, uh, before he died. What the hell am I saying? Maybe he didn't have the food in front of him when Rinosuke went to go say hi, because the man reacted. Right? And if that somehow is the case, then, then somehow, somehow they got the body in there, like before anyone showed up. Which would make sense, cause 2 p.m. is the the dead hours of the restaurant, right? So they could have came in first. Then the other two people could have came in first. Then Ryanosuke and Cosmo could have came in, and then you know so on and so forth. All that other bullshit. That's madness. Ugh, life is madness, man. Order. Please, counsel. Explain this absurd notion at once. The victim was killed by a gunshot? That's right. Absolutely right. The victim wasn't killed by a gunshot. The victim died due to loss of blood. That's what we saw. We're assuming that the gunshot inflicted that. Now, here's the other thing. Apparently, the gunshot didn't go through him completely. Right? So, maybe someone was able to take the bullet out? It would also make sense why they would put, give him laughing gas if he didn't really. He also had a tooth taken out, though. And I'm pretty sure. Can we check the body on that? <laughs> right? I'm starting to think of a million theories right now. Too many. It's just a game theory. That's right. It's absolutely right, Your Excellency. This, this is just another ridiculous plot by the rookie student, but clearly, he has no grasp of the facts. Objection! Oh yeah? Sure about that one? No, Prosecutor Alchi. It's you who has no grasp of the facts. Grasp? <laughs> grasp of the facts. I beg your pardon. As soon as it became apparent that the victim had suffered the burn while at the restaurant, the whole case was... Wait a minute. Now here's the other thing that I was also... Listen, I'm thinking about like a million things at once while I'm doing this. Now, let's say they somehow did get him, uh, did get 
the dead body to react to Ryunosuke saying hi to him, right? I mean, even in the picture, like, I don't think Ryunosuke had his eyes open. He just kind of closed his eyes and bowed and said, hey, how's it going, right? Didn't really make direct eye contact, from what I remember. So, in that, in that, you know, in that flashback, it shows him raising his hand, saying, hey there, right? And what if the hand went back down and landed on the plate? And that's how he got the burn. Hmm. Whole case was turned upside down. Or have you not grasped that yet? Your Excellency, this court must hear from this witness again. Is it true, as as we now believe that the victim was already dead before the gunshot was heard? It's highly likely that Miss Brett knows something about it. She also works in a medical lab, by the way, which means she would have access to laughing gas. Anesthetics. Incredible. I certainly did not anticipate the twist of events. I'm sorry to say, Miss Brett, that you will have to forget your luncheon. Your luncheon. What the fuck? What is luncheon? <laughs> what is that? Your lunch arrangement. But, Your Excellency, this justice system is our country, may be in its infancy. But rest assured, all reasonable doubt must be dispelled before I am prepared to pass judgment. Thank you, Your Excellency. You bitch. What was that smile? Yes, of course. Hmm. If we see her, I'm saying it again. If we see her face, we see her face and she looks anything, anything like Dahlia, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. She probably won't, but you know. I mean, I'll be delighted to help. You fucking bitch, you can speak Japanese. Especially if that helps relations between my country and yours. <laughs> Miss Brett, you speak Japanese? <laughs> All right. Yeah? Well, of course I do. I'm studying your country after all. Again, like I said, you got these other lunch appointments, you're giving a presentation, but somehow you don't speak Japanese? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like... But then, why have you been... Why have you been speaking through an interpreter until now? I was told. My mother tongue, the Queen's English, is the most refined and elegant tongue in the world. You are full of yourself. As a gentlewoman, I try to avoid speaking in your vulgar tone as much as possible. Oh. Oh. How's that for relations? But it seems that men in the land possess none of the chivalrous uh, uh, virtues of English gentlemen. So I can see that I shall have to lower myself to communicate with you all on your own level. Oh, well, you're you're the epitome of true English gentle gentlewoman. Uh huh. Yeah, the real color showing up. We're truly honored by this. This lavish cunt, you are s get off your fucking knees, man. This lavish cunt, consideration of you, fuck. Consideration you're so graciously afforded us. I see. In that case, Miss Brett, I will now ask you to testify in your own words about the events leading up to the death of the victim, Dr. Wilson. So, we're finally going to hear her own words. Huh. Things are getting interesting, Reannounce guy. Oh my fucking god, how long is this shit going on for? What time is it? Fucking fuck. Oh, I've been ran over my stream time. Oh well. Gotta kinda do this to the end now. Unfortunately, I have no idea where the poor man burnt his wrists. 
When the waiter brought my steak, the professor and I raised our glasses in a toast. As far as I've heard, the post-mortem report shows no other possible cause of death besides the gunshot. That's a lie. If there are some other ways a man's life can be taken without leaving a trace, please do show me. But of course, this country's inferior investigation techniques probably wouldn't pick up on any of that anyways. You know, for someone who wants to boast the relationships, you're really taking a shit on us. This most captivating, beautiful testimony will go down in the Supreme Court history. Really? You guys are still eating this shit up? Easy does it. I hope that this last time I'll have to sully my lips with the coarse tones of your unbecoming tongue. Oh. Forgive me. I do hope I haven't insulted anyone. You're a bitch. Yeah, forgive me when I put your fucking teeth on the curb. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. I'm gonna put his teeth on the curb, too. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, it's the light merely hear you speak, dear lady. It seems very clear that your testimony that this boorish talk of the victim's burn is utterly irrelevant. I will be speaking to your country's Minister of Justice about what has happened here today. The Minister of Justice. May that irritating little bully of a student be given the harshest punishment. Punishment? Punishment? Did I just say that? Punishment possible. Amen. Yo, yes. No, I hated her. But when you end, when you end it with a very clear, Amen. I gotta take some of that hate back. I can't deny it. It was cute as hell. <laughs> well, you have forgiven the. <laughs> well, you'll have to forgive the irritation, Miss Brett, and put in the cross ex Whatever, let's just do this shit. I accept you- I expect you notice that this little- Oh god, I can't read. This little bully of a student, as you put it, doesn't miss much. I'm sure I don't need to remind you, Council, that this will be your final cross ex Oh shit, yeah, we're doing this. If you fail to demonstrate any problems with the witness testimony, I will be ruling on the case immediately. Is that clear? Crystal. They gave his lips jiggle physics. Yes, Your Excellency. Then you may proceed with the cross-examination. Alright, I got this. Now, If this doesn't work, listen, if this doesn't work, then, you know, then I'm going to have to start pressing her statements. But if it does work, then we got her, right? Brought me my steak. As far as I've heard, Postman Approach shows other possible causes of death besides gunshots. Besides, uh, death occurred a little after 2 p.m. It was caused by blood loss from a gunshot to the chest. Bullet did not pass through the victim. We're looking at blood loss. We're not looking at gunshot. That means death was not instantaneous. Yes! Are you fucking kidding me? That doesn't count? Oh. Really? Really? Well, then we gotta start pressing. Alright. I'm pressing that one. Yes! Yes. It's written here in the paperwork. Fa fatal hemorrhage from ballistic trauma. Yes. Luckily for all of us, a little burn on the wrist isn't going to kill us. And as the... And as there were no other signs of trauma on the victim's body to indicate some other cause of death, it could only have been the bullet from the gun that put an end to this innocent man's life. But it doesn't make sense. The burn must have, have happened. The burn must have happened straight away when the plate was first brought to the table. Yes, that's true. If it had cooled even slightly, it wouldn't have been able to make a burn like that. And if the victim burned his wrist on a hot plate as soon as, as soon as it was brought from the kitchen, then he must already have been dead at that point. Attention! 
and yet the fact is that the victim was killed by a gunshot to the chest. Until you're able to show the court evidence to, to disprove that, this is a complete waste of time. I concur. Ah, damn it. Alright. Don't you fucking look at me like that, you bitch. Fucking hell. Alright. Double check this bitch. Let's see. Clearly record of some kind of medical treatment. Entry for the day a professor was killed. Extraction and use of anesthesia. Extraction, so he had a tooth pulled out. Yes. Now, he could have lost blood from his teeth. From his teeth being pulled, right? Impossible to imagine being able to feel pain, though. Yes! So, maybe he wasn't dead, but he was just still under anesthetic, so he wouldn't have felt it. Fucking fuck yeah! 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 Now all I have to do is put it somewhere. Uh, either this statement, as far as I heard, Portsmouth showed other possibles of death, gunshot. Professor and I have raised our glass to a toast. Have no idea when he burned it. Now, uh... I don't want to start pressing. Here's the thing. I really don't want to start pressing if I don't have to. Okay, if there's some other way a man's life can be taken without leaving a trace, please show me. But of course, country's inferior. I should just press it, but you know what? I'm just gonna... Yes! Ah, fuck. Alright. Time to start pressing. <laughs> time to start pressing. Because I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Alright, time to start pressing. Because I want to get yes! it... I don't want to get the game over. I really don't. Alright. But his hand was on searing hot plays for at least three whole seconds. Did you not notice? Do you think so? Let me ask you something. Sorry. Ever since I arrived at the courtroom, and every ever, ever since now, the fly on those unslightly black black torus of your wait what? The fly on that uns oh my pants. They've been wide open. You couldn't have noticed, can you? Huh? What? My fly's down. You've been staring at my dick this whole time. She's been staring at my 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 goodness. <laughs> the dear lady is abs absolutely right. As your friend, you've embarrassed me as well as yourself. <laughs> Alright. Why didn't you tell me? Dr. Wilson was a true English gentleman. He chose honorable silence over a vulgar scream. Can you can your tiny brain imagine such a thing? Oh yes, I think my tiny brain can. Yes. Well, I can't. Anyways, she said, I've been staring at your dick this whole time. I like what I see. <laughs> yes! As you testified before, you were drinking carbonated water, is that right? Could the carbonated water cause blood to come from his mouth? After the tooth was... Uh. Oh, wow. Dr. Wilson only permitted to drink water at the time, if you remember. Which explains why he ordered that drink. Correct, waiter. Exactly, as you say, sir. Although... Although... Whether or not the professor actually drank any of the water when I d delivered the steak to the table. I'm afraid I don't remember that. Mm. Damn you. Have enough English <laughs> have enough English to understand that at least. For the benefit of others in the court, it means bless you. I 
think it means the exact opposite. Anyways. Course model reports. Okay. You know, I'm just gonna. Sorry, I had to sit here in silence for a moment and just stare at the screen. Alright? I'm just gonna do this. You know, I'm just, just gonna do this. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, because eh, this is the answer. This is the answer. Yes. But where to use it? Okay, I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. I can't skip that for some reason. All right. <laughs> All right. So. As far as I heard, Parsman and Parsha, blah, 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 other possibilities. Yes. All right, cool. Yes, it's written here in the paper. Oh, yeah, I did do this already. Oops. I pressed that one already. Yes, that's true. Yeah, if you cool sl even slightly. Attention! Hmm. All right. There's some other way a man's life can be taken without leaving a trace. Please do yes. show me. Where am I? Without leaving a trace. If someone is shot, or strangled, or stabbed, or thrown from a height. However, a person's life is taken, there are always telltale traces on the body. Quite right, dear lady. And as our police force has thoroughly examined the body of the deceased, there can be no doubt. Isn't that right, Inspector Hasanaka? As I said, I always aim for flawless investigation. There wouldn't be physical traces with all those cause of deaths, that's true. But maybe there's some other way of killing someone that doesn't leave a mark. If heavens forbid, you doubt me, young man? You're gonna have to tell everyone how exactly you think the professor loses his life. Otherwise, I'm afraid your argument falls rather flat, doesn't it? Oh no, perish the thought. Calling such a sweet young lady innocent into question. On my honor, I, Takasuchi Alchi, will cut down any who dare. I'll fucking kill you. A way of killing someone that leaves no trace. I mean, does aesthetic also... Aesthetics. Does an... Fuck. Damn it. Does anesthesia also mitigates blood loss? Right? She could have... She could have drained the blood out of the man. Or, you know, the carbonated water with the loose tooth and anesthetics, he wouldn't be able to feel it and just siphon the blood from his body like a vampire. We need some evidence to back us up here. Yes, evidence. Evidence. Yes! What do you mean, inferior? Inferior? What do you mean by that? In the lands of the Great Britain Empire, I keep saying Britain. In the lands of the Great British Empire, the police store everything found at a crime scene for later examination. But in this country, you investigate once, and that's the end of it. Is that so? Quite right. The Carnival is open for business as usual today, just days after the incident. Exactly, which means that even if the investigation takes a different direction, Wait. vital evidence may be lost. What was that? It doesn't even occur to have negative effects to try and preserve the crime scene. Uh, what, what's going on here? I'm trying to be as tactful about this as I can, you understand? Killer Blow. Lady is as formidable as she is beautiful. Amazing. He's actually admitting our police may be flawed. <laughs> what was that reaction? My controller vibrated, right? He actually admitted our police may be flawed. Perhaps Prosecutioner Anchi is finally starting to see sense. I very much doubt that. Still, there's something about what Miss Brett just said. There was a moment before when something didn't seem quite right. How do I... What do you think, Rinosuke? I think it's going terribly. No matter how much I press her, I'm not turning up any new information. Yes, as I suspected. She's tough witness. 
We need to find a way to break her testimony or cross-examine the nation will be over. But that would mean I would have to find a way. There must be some clue somewhere to help us find her. Which, I'm not saying that. You almost had me there. <laughs> I don't think we can say that word anymore. Cosma? What, Ryanosuke? There is one thing I notice. Something that's been bothering me. Bothering you? You mean... About Miss Brett? Actually, no. About the person standing next to her. Inspector Hosonoka. The detective? Yes. Seems to react a little strangely to Miss Brett's last statement. I was wondering if it might be significant if... If it might... Pre oh God. I was wondering if it might be significant. If it might present an opening, maybe. Alright. I have an idea. Try pressing her on the last statement one more time. If you think so, but... But this time, instead of targeting the woman herself... Let's see what we can find out from the detective. Alright then. I wonder what Cosmo's thinking. I'll find out soon enough, I suppose. Plus I press Miss Brett on her last statement again. Ah, so it's one of those situations where you just gotta press and press and press and press and press and press and, press and dig your fucking heels in. <laughs> and just press in some more. Leave a mark. Let them know what they did. Alright, last statement. Yes! Inferior? What do you mean by that? The land's great British Empire. But this country must get once, isn't that so? Uh-huh. Exactly. Which means... Okay, how the fuck do I react to that? Which means that even if the investigation takes a different... Alright, he said... Target... Him? How do I... How do I do that? Yes, there it is again. The detective's reaction is just the same as before. Why? Up until now, the detective has been in the state... Has been in... Fuck. Has been in stand with Miss Brett as her interpreter. But things are very different now. For this testimony, the detective is just listening to what the Englishwoman has to say. This could be a golden opportunity. What do you mean? When people are actually testifying, they're usually very careful not to let anything slip. However, when they're listening to someone else speak, you'll find that they often let their guard down. You're right. Look at him. He's, a, he's lost in his own thoughts. It's time to pursue the man and his train of thought. Sorry, pursue. I'll explain how, how to do it now, Ryosuke. It only have to... Oh, fuck, I can't read no more. <laughs> it's all to do with the witness's marker. What marker? At the moment, we're focused on Miss Brett who's the person actually making the current statement. By moving the marker left and right with the hermoderbiter, you can turn your attention to other people in the stand. While you're looking at the other witnesses, you'll be able to pursue them with the A button. If you can catch the person at just the right time, you may uncover some new information. If you ever notice a strange atmosphere amongst the people on the stand, take a good look around. Alright then, so first I should move the marker across. Then pursue with the A button. See what's on his mind. Here we go! Wait! Yeah. I'm pressing the button. I'm pressing it. Yeah. Exactly. Which means blah 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 blah. Excuse me! Excuse me! Huh. What the? What's the meaning of this? <coughs> I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to shock you. He really was lost in thoughts. Deeply. It looked like you were thinking something just now, Inspector. Perhaps having heard what the lady next to you had to say. If there's something you like to say, please share it with the court. What's the meaning of this? You sit down, Algie. It's the delightful English woman who's testifying at the moment. 
If you can't find fault with her testimony, then cross-examination should be over immediately. Oh, is that how it works? Absolutely not. Hmm? They're both on the stand, asshole. Exactly. <laughs> They're both on the stand, which makes him a valid witness. Yes, not to mention the fact that he's immediately involved in the case. Inspector Hosonaka? Yes. Do you have something to add in retaliation to the statement just made by Ms. Brett? Well, yes. If I don't mind, I would like to speak. So, one thing I want to point out, if it does end up being true that that the carbonated water made him bleed through his teeth and he died from blood loss there and then the gunshot happened after because there's no blood stains where that gunshot's at right if that's true i also want to point out that the whole entire time hosonika has just been giving away the answer because he's bleeding from his fucking mouth <laughs> well yes if you don't mind i would like to speak oh she didn't like that she didn't like that at all This lady is right. Our country's police practices are not as moderate as those used in Great Britain. Which is why I, Satoru Hasunoka, always strive to make every investigation I'm involved in flawless. What do you really mean by that? I'll tell you what I mean. I won't have evidence lacking on my watch. I'm not afraid to take everything I can from the scene of the crime. It's preserving evidence, you see. I don't care if they call me a crime scene thief. I'm not ashamed of what I've done. Hey, so he's like, listen, I've actually been keeping this shit. <coughs> crime scene thief. Well, looks like the lady remarks touched a nerve there. Take this, for example. Oh, uh -huh. she's like, what are you doing? Stop. <laughs> Is that? It's the bottle of carbonated water I took at the victim's table on the day in question. And yes, it's lost all its fizz, having been opened three days ago now. But it was carbonated water. I don't care what anyone says. Yes, there's something left in the bottle. I can see it. On the day our police force will be among the best in the world. Wait, one day our police force will be among the best in the world. The time is coming, I guarantee it. I can say I can I can't say I condone the witness's actions, but I do understand the sentiment. The court will accept the glass bottle of water as evidence. Is there blood in there? Is there blood in there? Is there blood in there? Oh my god, is there blood in there? Fuck you. I don't care what you gotta say, I'm looking at it. Is there blood in there? Uh is there blood in there? Uh is there blood in there? Look at it. So carbonated water is the last drink Dr. Wilson ever had. Looks like there's a little left in the bottle. Although it's just plain water now. You know, I've been sweating so much, I'm absolutely parched. I'll just have a sip of this. No! You can't do that. For one thing, it's evidence. You can't go drinking evidence. Oh, you're right. We don't know what might be inside, do we? You never cease to amaze me, Rinosuke. In more ways than one. I wonder, could there be anything in this water? What's the matter? You've gone, you gone quiet all of a sudden. I think I might have just worked something out. An interesting possibility. Eh. Let me see what's in there. Oh. So. That would really explain. That would explain. What I couldn't explain. <laughs> All right, that would explain why he would already be dead. But still be able to react. What if there was like an aesthetic, uh, what's it called, uh, you know, anesthesia in here or something, something to that effect. He got drugged, that's what I'm saying. Miss Brett, can you confirm this is indeed the bottle from which you drank the day of the victim's death? Yes, it was the bottle. What was that about? She seemed to avert her eyes when she answered the question. 
very well. Excuse me. <laughs> very well. Counsel, you may resume the cross-examination. The inspector will will kindly control his fe his fe fever fe fever fever. Big words. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can you kill someone without leaving a trace? Show me. Oh yeah, we just drowned his ass. <laughs> That's what we did. Just drowned him. All right. Hopefully this is the right statement to use this on. Yes. Oh, here we go. What is this? The bottle of water? Actually, there's one mention of killing a man without leaving a trace that comes to mind. Obviously, I'm referring to poison. Poison? On the day of his death, we know that Dr. Wilson drank from this bottle of carbonated water. Could it be that there was poison inside? Could it be that the professor actually died after taking a sip from his glass? Order! And on that day, who was sitting at the same table as the professor and able to sip the poison into- uh, sip? My bad. Able to slip the poison into his drink. There's only one person who can possibly have done it. Giselle Brett, it was you. Attention! This is outrageous to suggest such a thing without a scrape of evidence. You little rookie imbecile. You, have, you haven't even considered the delicate situation our country finds itself in now. Fuck this country! Have you found that- have you forgotten that we have only just signed- uh, Fuck, in a court of friendship with the British Empire? Yeah, and we'll let them handle out the sentencing, but we have the proof. Have you even- have you even the vaguest inkling of your rash accusations could jeopardize the entire treaty? Objection! This is not- not a political arena. This is a trial to determine one individual's guilt with respect to, to one crime. What? The fact that this woman is British makes no difference. We are here to determine the truth. <laughs> if I may. I will silence you forever for the disgraceful attack. Oh. Is it you who should be silent? Uh, of course. Dear lady, where did that come from? She just snapped. I'm afraid I may have spoken unfairly before. I offer my most humble apologies. I'm sorry, my lady. To what are you referring? I describe your police force as inferior. But no matter how inferior they may be, you still investigated this particular point thoroughly, I believe. The bottle, I mean, Inspector. And whether it contained poison or not. Of course. You, you did? Have you forgotten what my guiding principles is already? I strive for a flawless investigation every time. I don't believe it. Naturally, we tested the inside of the bottles and its contents. And what did you find? I ordered tests for every toxin that's available in the country at the present time. We didn't find no trace of poison from any description in the bottle of carbonated water, Your Excellency. So, for every toxins in this country, but she was meeting up with a guy from England who taught, who, who gave classes in his medical lab. So that means he would have brought something from England. He has some kind of special that, some kind of special poison we don't got. What? Are you sure? The tests were, were meticulous. 
carried out by the chief coroner himself. Jesus. I'm very grateful to all you Japanese. You successfully established my complete innocence in this heart in this horrid affair. Thank you. But of course, dear lady, the pleasure was all ours. I was so sure. This can't be right. Everything falls into place if he was poisoned. Thank you, counsel. I think the cross-examination has clarified everything. At the pres uh, as the prosecution had arrested, oh god. As the prosecution has asserted, a shot to the chest from the gun is the only conceivable cause of death. Furthermore, the accused, who by his own admission was holding this weapon, is the only possible culprit. I'm done for. The court wishes to apologize for the great inconvenience this has caused you, Miss Brett. Oh no. I'm just glad the matter is resolved. Before proceeding, I must ask the counsel for the defense. Do you have any further new evidence to present the court at this point? Kazuma? Damn it! I'm sorry, Rinosuke. I have nothing more. Well, if you'll excuse me now, I must really be leaving. I'm not letting you get away with this. Hold it. Oh wait, is it who I think it is? Is it our girl? Yeah! Literally while they were giving up, I, like in my mind, I had a flashback where I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Her dad sent her away on an errand. Did you go to the medical lab? Did you go to the medical lab? Is it English poison? Oh, please tell me it's English poison. Isn't that... What's the meaning of this? Forgive me for intruding on court proceedings, Your Excellency. Susato Mikotoba, Judicial Assistant to the Defense. Mikotoba? In my darkest hour, with nowhere left to go, she appeared like a bolt of lightning. And in her hand, she carried a small package wrapped in a furoshiki, what the fuck? In a furoshiki cloth. No! <laughs> no, 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 no. We can't do this no more. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, that was supposed to be the end of it. Oh, my fucking God. That was supposed to be the end of it. Part three. Oh, I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time left in this stream. We've already been going for like four. Oh my god, we've been going for four and a half hours. Holy shit! All right. Well, that's gonna be it for the stream tonight. Uh, <laughs> shit. Um, next time. Damn it! I don't want to leave on a cliffhanger. Uh, so next time I stream. Chances are, uh, depending, well, maybe I can stream later tonight. I'll look into that. Uh, <laughs> if I do stream later tonight, we'll probably come back with Ace Attorney. Right. If I don't, then next time I stream, it'll definitely be Persona 4 Golden. Because I said I was going to do it. I said I was going to stream the game before the end of the year, and we're going to do it. We're going to get in, we're going to start it. Right? And as for Simulacra and... Ratchet and Clank, and uh, what was the other one? White Day. I was gonna do White Day, but looking looking deeper into what I had to do for that uh for that playthrough is that I have to do a complete I have to complete a full playthrough just to access the newer content for that. So I'm gonna have to push that down the road somewhere. So as of right now, the new stuff for White Day, um. Uh, like the extra character they had in White Day, we're just gonna push that down the road. Uh, for Ratchet and Clank, we don't have too long. I'm pretty sure we can finish that game in like one more stream. So you know, at some point, at some point, we'll definitely pick that up, play that, beat that, 
And same thing with Simulacra. We might beat both those games in the same stream. I'm not sure. But uh, there's that, right? So those two games are going to be put on hold for a little bit, for a little bit. Um, not that much. Definitely, definitely not going to... Definitely not going to wait a year to finish those. We're just going to probably in January or something because, you know, or next week or something. Uh, but yeah, if I stream again later tonight, it's going to be more Ace Attorney. If I don't, then next one's going to be Persona 4 Golden. We're going to be starting that stream. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. As for the YouTube channel, right? As for that... On Christmas Day, I finished the Arkham Origins playthrough, finally, so that it's finally 100%, right, quote-unquote, because I didn't well, I didn't do the scans or the challenge map, so forget about that. But in terms of the story mode, that's 100%. Um, also, on Christmas Day, I put out the whole playthrough for the DLC for Arkham Origins, which is the Mr. Freeze Cold Cold Heart DLC, which was pretty fun. I liked it. I had fun playing it. And I also started another playthrough on the channel on Christmas Day, uh, which is The Nightmare Before Christmas, Boogie's Revenge. So that's going to be interesting. If you, if you want to see that, head over to the YouTube channel. It's right there on the screen. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's pretty much it for the YouTube channel. I still have to upload some, some of the previous streams and stuff like that. But don't worry, they'll get up there. Someday, I still gotta edit a bunch of shit, but someday they'll get up there when I have time. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, that's it. So, for those who came and watch the stream live, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. It helps out a lot. If you're watching it in the VODs, I hope you're enjoying it. You know, come and say hi when it's live if you can. If not, then you know, if you if you do end up missing a VOD, you can just head over to the YouTube. They're gonna be up there. Uh, but not until, you know, not until the playthrough's done. And, yeah, that's it. So, you know, if you're watching on Twitch, if you liked it, if you're not, if you're not already, consider following. If you're on YouTube and you haven't subscribed, consider that. Click the bell if you do. And leave, most importantly, leave a like. That helps out a lot. That helps out a lot, really, with notoriety for the channel. So, you know, there's that. And if you want to, you know, follow me on Twitter, there's that, too. That's the whole, that's the whole, uh, content creator spiel that I got to give you, right? So, <clears throat> I had a lot of fun doing this. I don't want to end on a cliffhanger, but we have to. I did not expect it to be, I did not expect episode one to be this long. So, that's what we're going to do for now. And, yeah, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. And guess what? I hope you had a great holiday, but also, I hope you have a happy new year, because that's coming up in like two days, so, yeah, make sure you drink responsibly, and have a happy new year, you bastards. <laughs> I'm a chef, chef too.